Hello beautiful people, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you step by step how you can create your own course website where people can buy your courses and when they pay the money, that money goes to your bank account and they get access to the course immediately all on autopilot. Let me show you what we will cover in this tutorial. If you don't have it yet, I will show you how you can get your own domain name and web hosting. Then we will install WordPress, the best tool to make a website. And then we will install the LearnDash plugin that will enable us to sell courses on our website. When we've done that, we create our first course at sections, also known as chapters and lessons. I will show you how to create lessons with a page builder and how to create video lessons. Then we will adjust the style of the course layout so it becomes easy to navigate through the course. We will use WooCommerce to sell your course and cart flows to create a nice landing page with a checkout. We will integrate the checkout with PayPal and Stripe so people can pay the course with the credit card and with PayPal. And if you want to, there are also more payment providers that you can enable within your website. After that, we will add a second course to the website and even sell a bundle of courses with discount so people can buy multiple courses at once with discount. And if you have multiple courses, you can also sell a membership where people get access to all the courses for a monthly fee or you can give them lifetime access. So they pay one time and they get access to all the courses for the rest of their lives. We will make everything look better. And then at the end of this tutorial, you will have an amazing automated course website that will give people access to the course when they pay for the course. So that is what we will cover. Let me show you the end result. So this is the website that we are going to make. And I decided that when people buy this course, they get access to my Facebook group. So that's why I have this link over here. People can go to their account and when they click on it, well, they're not a member yet. They can log in over here and they see an overview of all the courses. So I go to the homepage and I see three different courses over here. The affiliate marketing course for $197, the Photoshop course for $67 and then the combination for just $10. I did this for the sake of the tutorial. So when I buy this, I get those courses combined in my account and I can get access to them immediately or I can go for the lifetime deal for just $997. Well, this only we have like five or six or more courses and the total amount when people would buy everything individually would be more than $997. It can also be that you let people pay $197 per year and then you can say, you know what, for $497, you can have this for a lifetime. So that's what you can do. And maybe I'm interested in this course. Well, if I click over here and I'm not logged in yet, this is what I will see. If you did marketing course, I'm not enrolled. This is the price and I can click here to get access. If you want to, you can place information over here about the course. And then below that, we see an overview of what we will cover. And if I think, Hey, I want to click here. It says you don't currently have access to this content, but I have a free sample lesson. So if I click on this lesson, which is a sample lesson, I don't need to be logged in. I just can check it out and then you'll see the overview. So I can go to the previous lesson. I can go to the next lesson. Here we see where we are in the website and I can follow this lesson for free. So maybe you want to give a few sample lessons away so people can see what kind of person you are, what you have to offer and if they like your teaching style. So in this video, I will answer the question. So nice video. Okay, really nice. And then if I want to click on the next lesson, it is not possible because I don't have access to that area. So I'm like, okay, I want to buy this. I can click over here and go directly to the PayPal or credit card checkout, but I prefer to have a landing page over here. So I click here. Then people can watch a video where I talk more about the affiliate marketing course. Hi guys, my Here's more information. I can make this page as big as I want. I can have testimonials. I can have videos. I can have proof, all that stuff. And then if people scroll down, they can leave their details over here. So I have my details over here already. And what I can do now over here, I can create account, an account username. So right now I say 30. Corpus hook. That's my username and I create a password and it says it is a strong password. Okay. I decided for this website to only let people pay with credit cards, but you can also add multiple payment options. So I leave my details over here from my credit card and if people want to, they can save their credit card details. It will be encrypted so I can see nothing. But then if they buy the next course on my website, they don't have to fill in these details again. I click on place order. And that means that I pay $197 and in exchange, I get access to this amazing affiliate marketing course. It says congratulations on or for your purchase. You can go to your account and there you see where your courses and we can scroll down and see some information about the course we just bought. I scroll up and I go to my account page. 
And now over here, if I scroll down, I see I have one course, the affiliate marketing course. And then over here, I see I have enrolled this course, but this one I can buy and this one I can buy. So I click on affiliate marketing course and now I have access to all the lessons. So if I go to video 2.3, I see the video over here, I can check it. I love the film Baby Game, especially. And if I watch this video or when the video ends, it automatically marks it as complete. It's not at the end read yet, so I will click on mark complete. And then I go to the next video and I see I completed 1% of the course. I can also navigate over here, go to a different video. I can also decide as a course maker that they should follow the whole course in chronological order. So that is how you can do that. And if I would go back over here and I want to buy also this course, I click over here. Then I need to fill in those details again because I did not save them. I place the order and then automatically it will be added to my course overview. And if we go to Stripe and it says over here today we made $197 and it will be paid out the 22nd of March, which is in eight days, all on autopilot. And I will show you step by step how you can achieve this. In the description of the video, I have timestamps. So if you want to go to a certain part of this video, you can go to the description and click on the timestamp so you can go directly to that part of the video. And if I go to fast for you, you can click over here and slow down the speed of the tutorial. I've been making tutorials now for over five years and people seem to love my videos. I do my best to get better and better so I can reach more people with my tutorials. If you have any question or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below the video. Besides this in-depth tutorial, I will also create follow-up tutorials where I will talk deeper about subjects like email marketing in combination with your website. So you can send automated email sequences to people that are interested in your course. I will talk about how to use Elementor Pro with LearnDash, how to use Cardflows Pro with your website. Uh, the great thing, this is not just a demo website I create. This is a real life website. I will sell my affiliate marketing course in this video. So everything I do over here is with the purpose to make more sales and help people to become successful through the subjects I teach. So it's not just a demo website. Now this is real life for me and everything I do to make it look better, to, to make it sell better, to promote it better. That's what I will make tutorials about. And so you can learn along with me how this process goes. And in the end, I want to make a lot of sales because I think my course is amazing. So if you want to be updated with all those uh, new tutorials that are coming up about LearnDash and about WordPress, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also feel free to like this video and watch as long as you want. Watch it three times, four times. If you really want to take everything out of it, watch it at least 53 times. Yes, I'm serious. No, just kidding. Uh, watch it, do the steps I take and you will have the same end result that I will have. So without further ado, let me talk about the four steps we're going to take in order to get up and running with our website. If you're starting from scratch, I can show you how to get a domain name and web hosting, and I can give you 60% of discount. After that, we will install WordPress, and then we will get the extra theme and the LearnDash plugin. And then we will create our amazing course website. And if you have a domain name and web hosting already and you have installed WordPress, then you can go to step three and I will show you the timestamp so you can go immediately to that point in the video. So the first two things we need in order to create a course website are a domain name and web hosting. If you have this already, that's great. Then you can skip this part. If you don't have it, then you can go to webhostingfk.com. Hit enter. And you will be redirected to Name Hero. Name Hero is, in my opinion, the best web hosting provider there is. Why? Let me give you a few reasons. There are more, but one, your website will load fast, even if you go for the cheapest package. Why? Because Name Hero has invested in Lightspeed, which is way faster than Apache, which is used with a lot of different web hosting companies. Here you see an overview what the difference is when you use WordPress. The second one, the prices are really competitive. You get premium web hosting for an affordable rate, which is amazing. And the third one, really important, the support. You can call them 24 seven. You can open a live chat 24 seven and you can leave a ticket and they will get back to you. So three ways to get support. And that's what I love about Name Hero. Now, one of the reasons you get such affordable prices here at Name Hero is because I get an exclusive discount for you up to 66% instead of the regular 50% that you get at Name Hero. And if you want to see what the plans are, click over here on this button or scroll down. And there are four packages, the starter cloud, the plus cloud, the turbo cloud, and the business cloud. So 
what are the differences between those packages? With the starter cloud, you can start with one domain name. So if you're really on a budget, this is where you can start. You have one website, one gigabyte of RAM. It's just like your computer. The more RAM you have, the faster your computer will remain. Also, if you're doing a lot of things at the same time. So if you get a lot of visitors at the same time, then you can upgrade. But I'm talking about hundreds of visitors per day. You have unlimited SSD storage. What does it mean? You can have 250,000 files on your website, which is more than enough. You have free SSL. That means that you can make your website secure. Uh, with other web hosting companies that can cost money here, it is free even with the starter cloud plan and free website migration. So if you have a website already and you want to transfer it to Name Hero, you can do that for free. Then we have the plus cloud. What is the big difference? Well, you have more a gigabyte of RAM, so more people can go to your website at the same time. And you can have up to seven websites. And the great thing is when you get this package, you can have seven different domain names and all store them under one web hosting package. You get 60% discount. You pay $5.18 per month and then you can have seven websites. So that is less than $1 per website per month. So my opinion, if you're starting, get this package. And if you're really like, okay, money doesn't matter. I just want to go with the best of the best of the best. Then I suggest you go for the Turbo Cloud. You can have unlimited websites. So you can even become a web design agency, start to make websites for clients and host them all on your website and charge them uh, $20 per month for web hosting depending on what you want to offer. And the great thing about this package is that your websites become even faster using NVMe storage, which is faster than SSD. So your website will go so fast. And the great thing is those websites are already fast. This one becomes even faster. You have a speed boost plugin and you will have a free domain, which is quite nice. And then if you're like, you know, I have too much money. I just want to get the best of the best of the best. Then you can go for the business cloud. And then I'm talking like if you have uh, 50 websites hosting on Name Hero, then I would go for the business cloud. The great thing is you can always upgrade later. So you can start with uh, the plus cloud, for instance, and then later go to the turbo cloud, send them an email. They will fix it for you. Uh, what I want to do now, I want to start with a new website. So I want to start with the plus cloud. So the whole year I can decide if I want to create a second website or a third one. And I don't pay anything extra except for the domain name. So in order to purchase it, I scroll down and I go to order now. Then we need to register a new domain name. Well, a domain name can be registered only once. So if I say I want to have facebook.com and I click on search, Facebook is unavailable. So you need to have a unique domain name and I would like to go with 30 WP, 30 WordPress. Then you can have .com. You can have a lot of different extensions. If you want to go international, I would go for .com. And you can go for your own country. So for instance, my country is the Netherlands. I can have this one or the UK. Well, as you see, there are a lot of extensions over here. So there are so many, but I would go uh, internationally for uh, .com and or locally for your own country extension. And talking about names, if you want to start a new business, use that business name. If it's already taken, you can become creative with your name. I highly suggest you always have your own first and last name as a .com. You never know what you want to do in your life. And if you have it, you have it. So I go for 30wp.com. I click on search and it is available and it's for free. If I go for two or three years at once. So I click on continue. I'll explain that to you over here. We can choose our billing cycle. And the great thing is the amazing discount of 60% will be applicable on the first invoice. So if you go for one year, you get one year of discount, two years of discount or three years of discount. And the longer you go, the more extra discount you get, as you see, say 30% or 6%. So the longer you go, the cheaper it becomes. I want to go with one year. And then there are a few extra things we can take over here. Would you like to add dedicated IP address? Well, I don't need all these things. Uh, Auto encrypt is free. We don't need this one. So I click on continue. And then really important, what we need is ID protection. It only costs less than $3 per year. And this will make sure that when you sign up, spammers that will see all the new websites in the world will not spam you with a lot of things like, hey, let me create a logo or do SEO or create a website for you, or they will call you. You don't want that. So if you use ID protection, they cannot see all your details. So click on continue. And the great thing is, this is crazy. The total amount we have to pay is less than $100. With other web hosting companies, really good ones also, you pay around $150 sometimes more and here below $100. I really like it. We save a lot of money 
And what we have, we have the Web Hosting Plus Cloud, so we can have seven websites and we have our domain registration. And since I go for one year, I need to pay around $16 for it. But this is great. This is for 12 months of web hosting and a domain name. You can start your business for just $7 per month. So what I can do now, I can create a new account. So I will leave my details over here. That's not my name. This is my name, my last name, my email address, my phone number, and then my company name. I'm, I have a company with my wife and it's called Ferdin Anna Media. I'm from this address. So I need to fill in your details over here. How did you find us? Well, through YouTube, because I'm showing you. <laughs> and then you have a support pin. If you want to call them or have a chat session with them, they ask for your pin so you can leave it here and then they know you're really you. Now we need to create a password, of course, make it really secure or you can generate one. And then you need to confirm your password. Then I scroll down and you can pay with credit card, PayPal, Coinbase, or credit card with Stripe. Well, I want to go with credit card so I can leave my details over here. I scroll down. Do I want to receive emails for special savings? Well, there's a great thing. Well, every year there's Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and then they gave huge discounts for extending the service. So you can get some money on your Name Hero account, and then Name Hero adds extra money for you. So in that way, you have discount for the next invoice. and. If you have read and agreed to the terms of service, you can check this. Keep in mind that when you got here through webhostingfk.com, you don't pay more, but you get extra discount and I get a commission. So I see that as a win-win situation. Name Hero will check all your details and see if there's no fraud. Well, if it's you that's filling in the information, then it should be fine. So I can go to the checkout and it says order confirmation order is placed. If you have any questions about your order, please open a support ticket from your client area and quote your order number. I want to go to the client area. So I want to congratulate you. You have your own domain name and web hosting. That is amazing. And the great thing with Name Hero, your website is live immediately. The only thing is if you go to ferdywp.com, it looks a little bit weird. So we need to install WordPress. But the great thing is it's not with all web hosting companies that your website is live immediately. If you want to install WordPress, you click over here on My Cloud and then you click over here on Web Hosting Plus Cloud. Here we can log into the cPanel and now we can install WordPress. We need to scroll down or we search over here for WordPress and there it is WordPress manager by Softagless. Click on it and then I click on install. So we see the newest version of WordPress. Uh, here we can choose our domain name. If you have more domain names, you can select one. And then here I want to select HTTPS. So our website will be secure from moment one. We need to remove WP, otherwise your website will be installed on your domain name.com forward slash WP. No, you want it to be in the root directory. So people go to ferdywp.com and then they go to my website. Here you can give your website a name and a site description. And you really need to do this now, otherwise, yeah, you can do this only once. No, just kidding. You can do this in the website. I will leave it for now and we will do it later in the website. Here we can choose a username, 30 Corp for instance, and a beautiful password, oh, hide. You can let it be created or create your own. Let's see if I can go stronger than 65. In real life, I'm not that strong, so I'd rather be strong on the internet with my password so I can say to people that I'm strong. Man, I'm so strong. And then your admin email, you need to have access to this email address. And then you can select your site language. You can install two plugins, the classic editor and the limit login attempts. And I don't need those. I click over here and I close it because it looks too complicated. This is all fine. You can trust them. This is all fine. And we don't need to install a theme. We will do that from within WordPress. And if you want to, you can send the email installation details to an email address, but I leave it as it is. I click on install. And there it is. Congratulations. The software was installed successfully. So if I would go to this link, WordPress is installed. We just got this domain name and it's live already. This area over here, it does not look good, but it means you are live at this moment. 10 minutes ago, we bought web hosting and the domain name, and now we are live. That's amazing. So this is the front end of the website. Everybody that will see your domain or go there, hit enter, they will see your website.
but we want to change the website. We want to configure things. And in order to do that, we need to go to the back end of the website. The website has a front end. That's what you will see, what the visitors will see. And there is a back end. And you can click over here and then you'll see the back end. And right now you see it's not secure. And it can be that you also see that over here. Uh, that's the case. Sometimes it is secure, sometimes not. But in the end, everything will be secure. So in order to do that, you need to go to the back end. And before we do that, I want to talk about the back end a bit more. And if I click over here, I go to the front end. And now here you don't see that, but now you see a bar over here. That means that you're logged in. And when you're logged in, you can scroll down and you'll still, still see this bar and you can add a new post add a new page, add some media, add a new user. You can update things. You can customize the theme. We'll talk about that and you can go back to the back end. So this we don't need anymore. So right now we have the back end and if we click over here, we go to the front end. So let's talk about the back end. I click over here and this is our dashboard and overview with a lot of information. And then here at the left, we can have updates. And if I click over here, I scroll down, I see there are two themes that need an update. So I can select them, update those. So every time there is an update for a plugin or a theme or whatever, you can update it over here and you'll see it in the top bar. Then there's post, we can add new blog posts. We can add PDFs, videos, media, whatever, Word documents. And we can check them or we can add new ones. Well, then there are pages like the homepage, the about page. We can create those. If you have blog posts and people comment on it, you can see that over here. You can approve them or put them into the spam. Then there's the appearance. You can change the look and feel of your website using themes. We're going to talk about that. Then there are plugins, extra functionalities for your websites. You can make your website a web shop. Let's take a look. If I click on add new, you can add the classic editor, which is the old editor of WordPress. You can have anti-spam, make your website more secure. You can have a forum. You can have a social media website. All those things can be added to your website. Then there are users. You can add more users that can change the whole website or you can uh, add a user that only can add blog posts. So you can hire someone that will write blog posts for your website. Then you can export your website, import your website. And then there are the settings. We will take a look at that in a second. You know what? Let's do it right now. Let's go to general in order to make our website secure. Add an S over here. That's everything you need to do over here and over here. Then you save it and then you need to log in again. But now it is secure. If I go to the front end, it is also secure. So that's great. So what you can do, you can do two things. Of course, you can do more things. You can decide to go bungee jumping today, but I'm talking about WordPress related stuff. When you're going to create a course website, you can do it on your domain, which you just bought or which you already have, or you can create a subdomain. I have my website, ferdicorpsook.com. That is where I will show you tutorials like these. So people can find them. There's a nice overview of what people can learn. So when I create a course website, I want it to be on a subdomain. It's called courses.ferdicorpsook.com. It's up to you if you want to use a subdomain or your current website, and I will show you both ways how you can do that. So you can install this website on your current domain name, or you go to name hero or through your web hosting provider. I go to account then I go to my cloud web hosting, log into the cPanel. Then I search for subdomain. I click on the second option and over here. I say courses and I will add courses.30wp.com. I click on create. Now within an hour, it will automatically become a secured domain. So it will add SSL. It will be done automatically. So I go over here to this icon. I search for WordPress, click over here and I click on install and I go for HTTPS and I go for courses.ferdicorp.com. Remove this. Leave this all as it is. My username, Ferdy Corp. My password is fine. Info at ferdycorpershook.com. And I scroll down and I click on install. Awesome. I click over here. So now I have my current domain name and the subdomain courses.ferdywp.com. 
and this will become secure in an hour. Over here, I have my main website, but if I would have all my courses on this website, then this website can slow down because of all the users I will have. I expect thousands of people to be my customer in the future. So I rather have a different domain and that's why I have courses.ferdicorpsook.com. Right now you can click over here, but if there are more tutorials, you can hover over tutorial, how to make a WordPress website. And I will show you how to create an amazing website. Or you can go to YouTube and search for how to make a WordPress website 30. And then you will find the most recent one over here. Okay. Well, what I want to do, I want to create my website, my learner's website over here at courses.ferdicorpse.com. I want to have multiple courses. Right now I have a beautiful course about affiliate marketing. It is finished already. And I want to sell this at this point for $197, $197. Normally it's $1,000, but this time it's an option to have it without any support. So it's a do-it-yourself course. And that's why I have this cheap price because there I will show you a lot. It's 18 hours of tutorials and I will show you in this tutorial how you can implement a course like that. So first I want to clean up my WordPress website. I will close this for now. I want to dismiss this message and I want to go to the posts, bring this to the trash. I want to start from scratch. So I clean up everything, trash, empty the trash. Then I go to the pages. I click on this area. So I select everything, bulk actions, move to the trash and I click on apply and I go to the trash over here and I empty the trash. And then I hover over here. I edit my profile. Here you can change the look and feel of your back end. I like the default one. Here I scroll down. I need to fill in my first name, my last name. Otherwise it will say the author of this course is Ferdy Corp and I rather would use my whole name. So over here I can display the name publicity as Ferdy Corpus Hook and then it will change over here. So that's what I prefer. You can have a Graviter account. You can get one over here. You need to sign up for free, upload an image and use the same email address as you use over here and then it will be linked automatically. You will see an image. And over here, if you want to, you can create a new password. Well, I'm happy with how it is. I click on update the profile. Then I want to go to the settings In general. I want to give this website a name. I call this one 30 Corpus Hook Courses. Or if you only have one course, you can call this one the affiliate marketing course. Well, it's, if it's the only course, learn how to build a passive income by helping other people on autopilot. Wow. I want to make it safe or secure the website. So I put an S after this. Uh, you know what? First I will save it. So I click on save changes over here and then I place an S and an S and then I need to save it and log in again. Okay. Then I scroll down the time zone. Well, I live in Amsterdam. So what I search for over here, let me see, search for M Amsterdam. Yes. If you type Amsterdam, you'll see it automatically. And then the time zone is automatically changed. The date format. How do I want to display the date? Well, I focus on people from the United States and I think this is their way of displaying the date. So I leave it at that. And I want to work with PM and AM, but in capitals. Then I click on save the changes. Okay. So I go to the dashboard and I want to get rid of all this stuff. I want to have a clean dashboard. So I go to the screen options. I turn everything off over here. And now we have nothing. Okay. I want to install a theme. So I go to a new tab. I go to 30 corp.com forward slash extra hit enter. There's a pro version, but I want to use the free version in order to find it. You can go scroll down over here. Oh, that's a lot of discount. Whoa. Nice. Okay. I have it already, so I don't need it. And here you can download the free extra theme. You leave your name and your email address, or 
you go over here to appearance themes, add new and search for Astra. And there it is. I click on install and then I want to activate this theme. So right now I use a different theme and that makes my website look like this. Well, I think that is ugly. We're going to make it look better. So I click on activate and now there's the same information, the title, the subtitle, nothing here, but now in a different look and feel. So if I refresh the page, now it looks like this. Still looks, looks really empty, but we're going to make it look better through the tutorial. So that's Astra theme. And since we have the Astra theme active, I go to this theme, theme details and delete it. I want to remove everything I don't need. So our website is clean and it is as fast as possible. Also this one, remove or delete. So now this is our main theme and that's the theme I will use for my course. Okay. What is next? We want to make use of Elementor. So we go to 30 corp.com forward slash Elementor hit enter and we can use this free page builder. I click on get started and I do have a website already. And these days it seems to be a little bit more complicated. I want to install the free version. And if you just want to only install it manually, you can click over here and then it will be downloaded over here. But also here we can go to the website, go to plugins, add new. I can click on upload plugin and drag it over here like this. Or I search over here for Elementor. And then you'll find it over here. More than 5 million installations updated two hours ago. This is the real deal. This is the best free page builder within WordPress. So I click on install now. I have to say Gutenberg is also doing a great job these days, but they're still um, having a lot of work to do. But in the future, I will also make tutorials for Gutenberg, which is the main page editor for WordPress. Okay, I close this. I go to the screen options and I say Elementor. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is how our website looks. The title, a header, here a sidebar with a few widget areas, and here the footer. We can create our course website in two different ways. One, we can import a pre made website from Astra that's already made, and we can adjust the information, and it works perfectly uh, smooth with LearnDash. Or we can create it from scratch. Well, because I want this tutorial to be as, as clear as possible, I don't want to skip parts. So I want to talk about how to create this website from scratch and that's what we're going to do. But because I'm in a good mood, I also will show you how you can import a pre-made website from Astra. It's called, it's called starter templates. And then with a few clicks, you can import a complete website. So let me show you how you can do that. So how can I make this beautiful? Well, we can do two things. We can create a website from scratch or we can import a pre-made template and we can do that with the Astra starter sites. If you want to do that, go to the back end, go to appearance, extra options. And over here it says import starter template. You can import, uh, install the importer plugin. I will, I will show you how to do it, but I will not install a pre-made theme. I want to teach you from scratch how to do this. So right now it's being activated. I want to make use of the Elementor page builder. And then I can search. Or I see it over here already. I search for learn dash. And there are a few themes we can use. Learn digital marketing, learn dash academy. So what I can do, I can click over here and all these pages, I can import it and I have a website at once. Need help, contact form, and it all looks beautiful, made with Astra and Elementor. And if I want to, I can import the complete website but as I said, I want to start from scratch, so I will not do this. What I want to do, I want to get LearnDash. So how can we get it? Let's go to 30corp.com forward slash learn dash. This is an affiliate link. Okay. What can you do with LearnDash? Well, let me show you. You can click on the demo, right mouse click open in a new tab. As you see, it's the same website as, as we saw over here. So also learn that makes use of the extra theme. And then over here below, we see there are three courses we can buy. 
this is what we can create. We can create more courses on one website and this one is free. So if I click over here, I can see a thumbnail. I can see the title, the current status. I'm not enrolled. It is free and I can log in to enroll or you can register to enroll. Over here, you see some information about the course. And then if you want to, you can show an overview like section one, section two. What will you cover in this course? You can expand them all and then you see more information. So uh, that looks really beautiful. And if you click on it, uh, sometimes there's a free version. So let me go back to all courses. That is a different page. We see all the courses. If I go for the piano lesson one, And I click over here, I can see an example, which is free. This is how it looks right now. So the title, where we are in the website, in this case, it's a video lesson, some information, a few chords, and then you can navigate through the course. Well, if we log in, we can do that. Log in using demo and demo. Now I can go to all the courses. Also the piano lesson one, I can say, take this course, I can pay with PayPal and with credit card. That's what we can let people do. And if I go to all the courses and I click on the one I have already, so learn this overview. Now I can navigate through the website and if you're finished, we can let people download a certificate and some people really like that. So they can show on LinkedIn or whatever, wherever that they are a certified learn dash instructor. So right now, if I click over here, this is how it looks, the sections with the lessons and then the topics. We completed it already. We can go to the previous lesson. We can go to the next lesson. We can mark it as complete. We can go back to the course. We can go to our own account. So that's what you can do with Learn Dash, And I will show you step-by-step step how you can do that. And one more thing over here, it says award-winning Captera top 20 training software winner. But the interesting thing is to see only a WordPress LMS on this list. That means that uh, if you ask it to Captera, Captera, that the best training plugin for WordPress is LearnDash because no other LMS is listed in this top 20 that is from WordPress. And if you take a look, Tony Robbins uses it, Yoast, and all those. I uh, know those two. And you can read more about it. You can create courses. In those courses, you have sections. In those sections, you have lessons. In those lessons, you have topics. We can create certificates if people finish the course. We can create quizzes. We can create assignments. And we're going to do all that in this tutorial. So let's take a look at the pricing. And there's a new updated special pricing. Uh, I wonder if this is also available for you. Right now, we can save $40. Well, that's really nice. Normally, it's $220. Nine dollars per year now it's 189. So let me show you the three packages. There's basic for 159, it's for one website. So if you're really sure you only want to use for one website, you can use this one unless you want to include the pro panel. Well, the pro panel enables you to see all the results how, how much percentage have people watched the course, where are they going, how long they, do they stay on a certain subject. You get a lot of information about the behavior of your visitors and that can help you to enhance your course to make it better to see people where people get stuck and then that way you can improve your course and we're also going to talk about that in this tutorial that's not available over here it's just 30 dollars more than this one and you can use it on 10 websites then there's also this one for 25 websites well what you can do you can be become an agency specialized in lms systems and then you can have up to 25 clients that you can help and install the license on their website and you can charge for it make nice money with it well i want to go for this package because i want to include the pro panel and besides that we can create unlimited courses have unlimited users we have course contact protection so if people are not logged in they cannot see the content of our uh, course drip feed lessons that means that you can say the course starts at the first of june 2022 and then every day after that one new video will appear that's what you can do if you want to. You can even connect it to an email provider and then every day there will be sent a new email with a new lesson and you can all make it automatic. I will make tutorials about that. So this will be a complete experience where you can learn 
from A to Z, how to create an amazing community with lessons, with uh, a kind of Facebook feed where everybody can have their own account. They can uh, post things on the wall or uh, on the forums. There's a lot yet to cover, but in this tutorial, I will focus on how to create multiple courses on one website and use drip feed lessons, create certificates, badges and stuff. And uh, in other tutorials, I will focus on creating forums, email notifications and all that stuff. So it's per year. You pay this per year. Well, if you have a course that's 197, you need to have one people that will follow your course in order to make the money back. And I want to go for thousands of course takers. And that's also, a real, it's a real thing what I'm going to make. It's not uh, just for the tutorial. I will make this for real for myself. So that's why I will show you everything I will do in this tutorial. And if you really want this, then you can click on add to cart. So I want to go for the learners plus. And my first name is Ferdy and my last name is Corpus Hook. And my email address is ferdycorpushook at gmail.com. My credit card details. Well, I want to pay with PayPal this time. You can pay with credit card. They need to fill in all those fields and you need to check this. I want to go with PayPal and then I also need to agree with everything and I click on check out with PayPal. And it's covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you really don't like it or you don't like my tutorial or you don't like, it doesn't matter what you don't like. You can just say, Hey, I want to have a refund. It will have a full ref refund if you ask it within 30 days. Okay. I click on agree and continue. Awesome. And I need to check out with PayPal. So here's my purchase confirmation and my download. So what I can do now, I can download learn dash. So I click over here and I can also download the pro panel. If I want to, I will talk about it later in the tutorial. And then here are my license details and I need them for learn dash. So I click over here. There it is my receipt for learn dash. And I need to have this license key over here and expires in, an, in a year. I close it and I close this for now. And I want to go to my plugins at new upload plugin. I want to drag learners 3.3. Three is a hard for word for me to say, and I click on install now. So I hope they come with the version four, so I don't have to say three, three anymore. Activate the plugin, and now we're going to make some money. How? By providing valuable knowledge to other people, in my case, about affiliate marketing. My course is the best one on the internet. I'm assured of that because I followed all the other tutorials, all the other courses. I did not copy them, but I just want to look. What they offer, I think what I offer is uh, better. So here it says license of your learners elements is invalid or incomplete. Well, I can click here if you do not see this. So let's get rid of all this stuff. I can go to learn dash over here and I can go to the settings. And then you see it here again, but you also can go over here to the license and I say, my email address is ferdycorpushook at gmail.com. It needs to be the same email address as you filled in when you purchase this. And then I need to fill in my license key. I click on update, update license. And I can use this on 10 websites. So it's actually $19 per website. I think that's a great deal. Uh, for now, I'll just use it on my courses.ferdycorpushook.com website. And I've updated my license. So if I would go to the dashboard, there are no more. There are no more questions about my license. So I close this and there's a lot we can cover. And what I wanted to do, I want to start with the fun stuff. In my opinion, it's the fun stuff. I want to create my first course. So I go to courses and it says we don't have any course yet. So I want to click on add my first course or click on add new. So then you see the Gutenberg editor and that's okay. What I want to say over here, the course title is the affiliate marketing course. And here you can have some course content. So I can say, hi there. My name is Ferdy Korpsuk and I talk about my experience with affiliate marketing. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> 
it was at my intern place. And there was a guy who told me about affiliate marketing. And when I had my first show, I was like, whoa, we can make money through the internet. We really can do it. And now, 13 years later, I'm living from it and I really love it. And um, right now, I have my text over here. So you can have a small text and what you can do, you can hit enter over here. And you can click on the plus and you can add a lot of stuff over here, a paragraph, but also learn their stuff where you can browse everything. And then over here, we can add an image. We can search for it, image. And we can add a lot of stuff. But right now, I want to keep it simple. Later on, we're going to make it look better. But for now, this is perfectly fine. So I click on update. Then I need to click over here on this icon. Uh, go from block to course. And what I want to have over here is a featured image. I set the featured image, select files. I go to my desktop and I open this one. Uh, I prefer 16 by nine in aspect ratio. So right now I have uh, an image that is 1280 by 720 pixels. I set this featured image and it's a mock-up. I created it with theme forest. I even have a tutorial about it. So if you search for Create mock up website 30. Yeah, you can create a mock up like this. So if I click on update and I go back to the courses and I click over here, I will go to the home page. But at my home page, I see nothing. Well, we need to create a few pages for that. And in order to do that, I go to new. Page. Right now, I only need a home page. So I click on home. I publish it. And then over here, I want to click on the plus and I search for list. And here it says learn dash course list. Okay. If I update it and I click over here on the WordPress icon and I go to the front page, I still see nothing. I need to go to the customizer. Then I want to go to the homepage settings and I change it from my latest blog post or my latest post to a static page. And I select the one page we have the homepage. Now we see this list over here. Okay. I go back and I go to the sidebar and I want to turn the default sidebar off to no sidebar. So this is what we'll see right now. Okay. Then the next thing I want to do now it's, it's fine right now. I close it. Okay. Well, this looks not that beautiful. If I click on it, I see this nice zero percent complete zero steps, some text over here. It doesn't look that appealing. Well, I will make it appealing right now. I go back to the back end, and then I want to go to learners LMS and then I want to go to add ons since we bought learn dash we have a lot of add-ons we can install and i want to start with the learners course grid so we've seen grid instead of a list later we will install stripes we can receive payments from all over the world and when people buy our course they automatically get all the login details so they can start right away and it's all an automatic pilot it's it's amazing that you can do this so i go back to the home page and now it looks like this it says I'm enrolled because uh, I'm the administrator. But if I would go right mouse click, open this link incognito, that means I log in or I uh, watch this page as a non user. Then I see, I can click on see more. And then I see this information and there's nothing that can be done. Why? We need to configure our course even further. So I click on the course and then I click on edit the course and we will continue creating this course. So over here, I was at the course. Interesting. I have the featured image, but I also see course categories. If you have a big website like udemy.com, you can create a website like this with a learn dash. And there are on the 30,000 online courses. And here are a lot of categories. So over here, you see Excel, web development, JavaScript. So what you can do, you can add a category that says making money online. 
add a new course category and then I can add a new course. I call this affiliate marketing and I can create a subcategory of making money online. So if I have a lot of courses, then, then I can create a structure in my website and let people navigate through the website even better. Same goes for tags, uh, any tag, any subject that has something to do with this course, affiliate marketing, and then I need to say comma. The next one is making money online, passive income. So that way I can also create some structure in my website if I have a lot of websites. The great thing with Learn Dash, what you also can do probably in combination in combination with a different plugin is let other people upload their own courses. So you can become a platform where other people will sell their courses and you will get a cut from every sale that has been made. So there's a lot possible, but in this course, I want to focus on selling my own courses. Update. And when we've talked about that, we can go to the builder, the second tab. Here we can create the content of our course. If I go to the course, so let's do it like this. I copy this area, copy it. I paste it here. Courses that Ferdy Corpsuk. If I click on it as a logged in user, I see nothing. There are zero steps. So we need to create some content for our website. So what I have, if I go to my notes over here, I have the colors of my website and I have an overview of my website about the course. I can build this course structure sections and lessons, I can build it over here. So I start with a section heading. I call this one 01.introduction. I want to introduce people to affiliate marketing. When I have a section, I can add a new lesson and I can go over here. I can copy this title. And I like, I, I love structure. I want to keep things organized. So that's why I use 1.01 welcome. I add the lesson. Now it's a lesson from the introduction. So the second one. The third one. Let me see if I can try it like this. And I know this takes some time, but you only need to do this once. The fourth one. And if I keep talking, I think it doesn't take too much time. So now I have five lessons of my first chapter. Uh, trust me, <laughs> making those videos takes way longer than just creating this area over here, this overview. So now I have five lessons. So I need to go to the second section. Copy. So right now I do not create another lesson, but I create a new section heading. And I call this one zero two dot and I paste preparation or even better how to or prepare for success because it's all what happens into our mind that makes us successful or not. So again, I continue 2.01 new lesson paste copy Netflix generation paste become a doer. You can watch this course over and over again, but if you do nothing, nothing will happen. The whole idea of a business, why do you have, why do you want to create what you want to create? It's really important to know your why. The gym mentality, gym means Google it now. Instead of asking people a lot of stuff, I get a lot of questions and I think if you would Google it, you would find the answer within a minute. So if you develop that mentality, it will help you to be more um, productive, but also learn more, get getting things done more. I don't know if that English is correct. So what I'll do, I will fast forward and I will be back with you when I have all this stuff over here. So what I have over here is a lot of sections and in those sections I have lessons. And you see it here with the L, it's a lesson. So uh, a few more things. If I want to change something, I can drag it over here or I can click on the arrow up or the arrow down. If I forgot something, so over here you see 801. So over here I can also say 8.01 or 02. Save it, bring it down. 
And then here I can say 8.01 space save. And after that, I need to update it over here. So right now, before I uh, upload or reloaded the page, it still looks like this. And if I refresh it, look what happens. Wow, now we have 60 steps. Welcome, what's affiliate marketing and all this stuff. And we can um, change the look and feel later using the extra theme. I can go to the second page. And I can go to the third page. I can also decide to not show this to my viewers, only show it when they are enrolled. So it keeps something mysterious like, okay, uh, of course you need to uh, make people uh, excited for your product and then they buy it. And sometimes if people see this, they can think, yeah, okay, 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 I know that. So it can make the course look less valuable. Well, if they buy it and then they uh, go through all this information, they will learn a ton of stuff. So um, I suggest you don't show it depending on what you want to this on what you on what you want to sell. If you're selling a Photoshop course, maybe you want to see what they're going to learn. So, so uh, since we have done this, let's talk about topics and quizzes later. I click on update again, and then we have the third tab, which is settings. So let's talk about the settings. Does this course need materials? Well, right now you don't see something about materials, but if I turn this on. I can say you need a computer. So I can click over here. You need a computer. You need internet. You need screen capture software. I show you a few options in the course. Or you can have uh, important links. So uh, sign up for Adobe from here. And you can make it a link. And then that way you can uh, add some course materials. And if you click on update and you refresh the page, you see now the course. Okay, the course, blah, blah, blah. This information and the materials. You need a computer. You a computer. What is that? You need a computer. You need internet, you need screen capture software. I show you a few options in the course. Okay. So that's what you can do as an option. Then scroll down. Course certificate. Well, we don't have a course certificate yet. If we have made one, we can find it over here. And then when people finish the course, they will download the certificate with my signature and their name. And we can make it as beautiful as we want. Course content, always visible or only visible to people that enrolled have enrolled. So if I open this in a new window incognito, I turn it off now. If I click on see more, you see, don't see it. But what I prefer is that I have a video over here where I will make people excited for the course. And if you sell a $997 course, it is probably not enough to just show some, show some information and let people buy it. And people nearly, really need to trust you before they buy something that expensive. So in that case, you can have a uh, webinar, create a webinar and let people enroll after that. I have uh, a tutorial about that. It's called ever webinar tutorials. Let's see if I still on number one. Yes. And then you can record a webinar upfront and uh, make it look like it's live. I personally do not like it to fake people, but I, I say in my video, it's, it's not live. I pre-recorded it so I can have better audio quality in help you anytime you want. And then I show people 50 minutes of information about affiliate marketing, make them excited. And then I say to them how they can get it. So uh, right now I put it on always visible. And do I want to have uh, custom pagination? Yes. I want to show a thousand lessons and topics per page. What does it mean? Well, it means that when they click over here, they see all the lessons in one page. I don't like the pagination thing. So uh, they see, whoa, all this stuff I will learn. Yes. So I'll turn it on and turn it on uh, a thousand custom lesson order. Well, yes, or you can do it uh, based on sorting by date in ascending order. So the thing you created first uh, will be shown first while well, I just created this from scratch and uh, I leave it like that. So I don't turn this on course access really important. 
if it is open. People don't even need to log in in order to watch all this information. Then you can make the course free. And when the course is free, people can access it, but they need to register. If you register, then you can link it to a convert kit or MailChimp or whatever, and you can send them automated emails. So what I prefer with this is to make a free course. Let's say my first two chapters totally for free. And then um, if they want to, then, then I have their, their uh, email address. I have an automated email sequence that I can send to them. And then after two weeks, I can say, hey, did you enjoy the course? Uh, how about going for the real course? And I give you a discount right now. Uh, instead of uh, $997, you can buy it for just $497 if you want that. And then um, they have seen I'm, I can be trusted. They see I know I'm, where I'm talking about. And then they can enroll in the premium course, the real course. Or buy now. Well, what's the course price? So if I say $197, I click on update. When they buy $197, they get the information, they can log in and they can follow the course or it's recurring. So I can say the course is uh, $47 per month, every month, $47. As long as you are a member, it's also really interesting. If you have a thousand people that do that, that's $47,000 per month, but then you really need to have a good course and a good way of um, doing your marketing. And then there is close. What you can do over here, you can set the course price and that will be seen on the website when people see course overview. And then you can have a custom URL. What does it mean? When people click on take this course or buy this course, they go to a custom URL. So we can create a beautiful landing page with WooCommerce, Elementor and cart flows. So they can see one page with all the information they need to see. And then below that page, they can go to the checkout, fill in the details, pay the amount of money for the course and get access immediately. That's in my opinion, the best way. And I will show you step-by-step step how you can achieve that in this tutorial. Right now I say that the course is $197 and I will add a hashtag over here and later we will configure it further. You can also say people need to first follow the free course, follow another course before they can sign up for this one. So I can say uh, first they need to have the light version. So the free version need to be, needs to be followed before they can buy the premium course. You can, you can have course points. So when people follow uh, quizzes and they have good answers, they get, they get points. And when they have 50 points, then they can enroll in this course. So you can say required or awarded on completion. So if they follow the light course completely, they can, 50, can get 50 points and they need that in order to buy another course. And then there's course access. Yeah, you can, this is also really nice. They only get access for one year. So for one ninety-seven dollars, one time. So let me say it's uh, by now one ninety-seven. You get access for three hundred sixty-five days, or even better, for um, ninety days. And in ninety days, you need to set up your own Imperium with um, your affiliate marketing course because then you say to them, "Hey, you have ninety days, so you need to take it serious." And that can help people. There's a course called uh, the One Funnel Away course. Uh, I'm not that excited about the way how they do things, but what they do, you get 30 days. After those 30 days, everything is gone. So you need to do that in the 30 days. I did it a few times, the course, because I did not do it in 30 days. But it it keep me, kept me motivated because I knew after 30 days, everything is gone. And then you can decide if you want to remove everything they have. Uh, get it. So you can also click over here, delete the user's course and quiz data when the course access expires. So they have zero completion after that. Or if they've done 50% and you turn this off, they will still have it. And if you click on this, it will be gone. So all the data will not be saved anymore. There's course progression. That means requires the user to progress through the course in a designated step-by-step -step sequence, or they can go to any lesson if they want to. Well, I prefer the first one. At the other hand, I have a few bonus areas and I want to give people access to that. So in that case, I could say free form, but right now I want to use a linear form. So they really need to check everything. Okay. Course grid settings. So if I go to the homepage, what should it say over here? Learn how to build a passive income stream by helping or well, well 
helping other people on automatic pilot. Wow. Enable preview. So that means that uh, this image is a video. That's a really nice option. Then you need to have the embed code. And over here you can see how you can do that. Custom button text. Well, see more is a little bit, I don't like it. So I can say more information. Custom ribbon text, best option. Let me show you that. And then I click on update. I refresh the page, best option, affiliate marketing course, learn how to build a passive income stream while helping others, other people on automatic pilot, more information. So it starts to look better and better. And uh, if I um, remove the ribbon text, I'll see the price. So refresh, go to the home page, enrolled. And if you're not logged in, you see the price over here. And now you see if I'm not logged in, $197. So let me go to the course while I'm logged in. And what I see, the image. Here I see completion. So what I can do, I can go to the course and I can go to the first lesson. Well, there's nothing yet. And if I click on mark complete, we go automatically to the second lesson. I mark it complete. The third one, I mark it complete. Now, if I go to the home page and I click over here, what I see, I have a completion of 5%. And if I scroll down, I see that I've completed those pages right now. So that's really handy. And if you use videos in your course and the video is finished, you automatically complete that lesson and you go to the next lesson. So that's what I like about LearnDash. If you somehow want to get rid of the progress, you can go to the back end to users. In this case, there's only one. You click on it, you scroll down. Here you see per user where they are enrolled in, and I have three out of 95. I can click on details and then I can bring it back. Update the profile. And now when I take a look at the course, I have 0% again. So let's uh, configure this a bit more before we're going to take a look at the lessons. Let's make it look a little bit better. So uh, I can go to the customizer. I go to the global settings, to the container. And then over here, learn dash layout. I want to change layout to boxed. Like that. I think that looks a little bit better. So that's uh, what I prefer. So if I click on publish, go to the page again, and now it is boxed like that. And when I click on it, I go to this page and it does also box. Well, I want to configure this. How can I do that? I can go to the back end. Let me go to learn dash settings. Okay. First the active template is learners 3.0. You can use the legacy one. If you want to check it out, click on save, open it, click over here. And then it looks like that. Well, that really looks legacy. <laughs> I don't like it. There's no structure, so I bring it back to 3.0, and that's a lot of times what I do. I just play around and see what works. So I have the accent color, the progress color, and the notifications. I go to my notes because I have my colors over here. The blue color, I want that to be the accent color. I paste the code, and then there is the orange color. Those are the two colors I want to use in my website. So I paste it and then there's red for if something goes wrong, completely red. And if you're ready, you can save it here at the top. So now it looks like this.
And when I finish the lesson, it's orange. And then I go back to the affiliate marketing course through the breadcrumb. And now you see this is orange and this is dark blue. Those are the colors I want to use. Maybe better do them the other way around. So now those colors will be changed like that. So this blue, the other area is orange. Okay. I want to change this whole look and feel with one click on the button. So over here, I click on this button focus mode. I turn it on and with one click of the button, actually two, because I need to save it. Actually three because I need to refresh it, but is hitting uh, command R on the keyboard. Is that a button? No. So it's two buttons, two clicks. So now it looks like this. I can have my logo over here. I see the amount of completion, the percentage. I can go to the next lesson. I'm greeted. Wow. I'm greeted. And then I see my own picture. I can log out. I can go to my course home. If I do that. I can go to any video. So if I go to the second one, what is affiliate marketing? I can watch the information. I can mark this complete. So I think this already looks much better. And when I complete it, look at this, you see it changing real time. So that's really nice. Also here, orange, blue, orange. So in that way you can change the look and feel of your website with a few clicks. And I want people to have the opportunity to register. If you want to know more about the option, you can click over here. When active, the learner's template will be used for user login and registration. Yes. The logo upload. Well, I want to use the affiliate marketing logo, this one. And do I want the videos to be responsive? Yes. They can be, um, become smaller automatically because right now, well, uh, let me talk about it later. Uh, right now, I will leave it at this. I just wanted to change the style a little bit. And now I want to talk about lessons because we, we don't have information over here yet. I can click on welcome. And since I'm the administrator, I can edit this lesson. And here I can use the Gutenberg editor. If I click on the plus and I click on browse all, I can add a lot of stuff over here. I see, you see examples. So um, what I can do, I can say, I want to welcome to welcome you to this amazing course. I don't know if that's correct English. I just want to say what is possible. Then I can click on the plus. I want to add an image. So I search for image. Then I upload an image. I saw something about, um, you know, do an image of myself. <laughs> it doesn't need to be too big. Okay. I can say, I got you. You paid $187 and this course is crap. It's too late because there's no 30 day money back guarantee and then I can become rich and go on vacation with the money. Well, a lot of people are not happy with me. That is an option, but I can assure you this course is amazing. I'm just uh, making bad jokes. So if I go to the first lesson, I will see this. I want to welcome you to this amazing course, my image. I got you, you paid $197 and this course is crap. Well, it is a completed already this. So you can um, show information. You, you can even upload a, a PDF file, like you need to read this first, or you can even link to a YouTube video. There's a lot you can do. Again, click on edit lesson. Links sounds like add lessons. Isn't, isn't that a band? Add the lessons. Oh, maybe adolescence, something with children. I don't know. I don't know. What am I doing? Come on, go back to the course. This is how I look right now. Like, what am I doing? Okay. So that's what you can do. That's one way. Okay. When people go through that lesson, I go back to all the lessons. Here we have courses. Here we have lessons. And if I click on the title, I can go to lesson two over here. What is affiliate marketing? 
And over here, I have the content, what I can do, but what I also can do, I can go to the settings and here I can add materials to this lesson. So I can say, download the e-book. I can make a link. HTTPS 30 corpushookcom forward slash ebook. Enter. Then click over here. Open it in a new tab. And I go to update. And now when I go to the second lesson. Over here. I see the tab materials. Now I can download the ebook. So that can be handy if you so I prefer to make video courses because people it's easier for people to learn through video. It, it's a little bit uh, yeah easier. <laughs> and then I can say, okay, by the way, in this video, I, I point you to the Facebook link there. You can sign up and all that stuff. And then I can place the link over here. And if you say that over here, there are materials with a the link. They can see that. Uh, I can also say how to download Adobe from here. Go to adobe.com, etc. And then um, refresh the page. And here, see that. But you, so you can give instructions. And here's the lesson. So, what else about the lesson in the settings? We have added uh, materials. We can have a video progression. And as I said before, this is what I prefer. So, what I will do, I will go to Vimeo. And over here it says a video uh, URL, input URL, iframe or short code. Oh, you can add a YouTube, you can add a Vimeo. Um, there are other video players you can place over here. But I have a course. Let me see my videos. I scroll down a lot. And I search for chapter one. Video two. What is affiliate marketing? So I copy this link again, copy the link and then I paste it here. And then here it says display timing before completed the sub steps. So I can say, show this video before I need to show anything else. Or I can say first, let them show something. And if they complete it, then they will see the video. Well, I will not use it. So I say before I can make the video auto start. I can, uh, show the video controls display. I can um, pause the video when, when people are in a different tab. Well, I prefer not to do that because sometimes people need to go to a different page while I'm talking to them through what they need to do. And um, I can have a forced lesson timer, but, but it can not be used while the video is enabled. So how would that look? I refresh the page. Oh, module one, what is affiliate marketing? And what I see over here, the play button, this timer, people see how long the video is, how uh, hard the sound is, the loudness. I can do double speed because I have uh, Vimeo Pro. I pay around $250 per year, which is uh, really cheap in, for, in, in comparison with what I get. And I can make it full screen. And if I play this, It looks like this. So what I like, I have those colors over here, orange and blue, and also here, orange and blue. So everything is a little bit in the same style. And look at this. When I finish the video, I do nothing right now with my mouse. Nothing happens. What I want when they finish my video, I want them to go to the next lesson automatically. So we're going to do it later in uh, the settings of the course. Um, because I prefer that then people can continue. And then if I go to the next video, uh, they need to click on play. So they go to the next area, but uh, it saves them a step. And that's what I like. So, um, okay. That was the, the second one. So here we have made something with Gutenberg. And if you want to know more about Gutenberg, I have to tutorial about it. Create a blog post using Gutenberg. And then 
right 30 behind it yeah one hour about gutenberg and as i said i will make a new tutorial about gutenberg also so uh this is just course content and the second one what is affiliate marketing i have a video and then at the end i want to have a quiz if you want to learn how to work with a quiz i created a separate video for it because not everybody wants to create a quiz i don't want to make this video unnecessary long so if you want to learn how to work with a quiz you can click over here and now i'll show you a beautiful in-depth tutorial on how to create a quiz using learn dash okay so what i will do now i can go back to the lessons and i can make this a free lesson so uh, what is affiliate marketing i want it to be a free lesson so i scroll down and it is affiliate associated with uh, this course because we created it in the course builder so it's automatically linked and i can make this a sample lesson so if i update it so let me go back to the course to the home page right now it says this lesson is a sample lesson so people cannot access this if they're not logged in or did not buy it but they can buy this so if you're really sure you you have something good going on you can give the first chapter for free and then if people are really serious they know hey this guy can be trusted you can make sure that if people go over here they need to pay so you can give something for free okay so let me go to youtube.com and i search for affiliate marketing 30. Okay, I have a few free tutorials about affiliate marketing. So what I can do, this video for instance, uh, you see the same background, right mouse click, copy the link, and I edit the course. And then I can go to the settings, I scroll down, and then over here, enable video preview, the video URL, update it back to the courses back over here and now this is a video so i can watch this video but then i would have a video that's max two minutes because people are not going to watch over here to a 35 minute video more information and then here you see the featured image uh, what you also can do edit the course click on uh, the plus over here let me see hit enter click on the plus search for youtube paste the link bring it on top with this arrow update and go back to the courses to the website click over here and then people can watch this course before or what you can do or you edit the course again let me see we can hover over here want to see the plus where is it yeah there's the plus I search for columns. I want to have two columns. Okay. I want to drag this area over here. And this video area. This is what I mean with Gutenberg. It's 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 getting better. But it's so hard to just drag this over here in this area. So I need to click on the plus, YouTube, paste the URL, embed it. And I can remove this. But uh, as you see, it's so hard to select it. That's why I'm waiting with a tutorial about it. But what I can do, I can go to the code editor. And there I can remove this area update bring it back to visual editor and what i prefer is also to have this area yeah 
And then over here, I would like to say the last affiliate marketing course you will ever need. I make this a header by clicking here and changing it to a header. H2, perfect. Okay. Well, this is something I want to change. I don't like that. More information. And now you see this area, we can get rid of it. I'll show that later in the course. And then there's a video, the last course you will ever need. And people can buy it over here. So that is that. So what I want to do now, I want to go to the back end and I want to fill in the content of my course. I go to learn dash lessons. I click over here. Okay, I have a weird way of working, but for me, it's the fastest way. I drag Vimeo to the left and then I have video 1.1. I hold command on my computer or control on the PC and I click on the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Then I say control tab on my Mac and I click on and first over here, I remove everything. Update. And then I go to settings, control tab, settings, control tab, settings, control tab, settings, control tab, settings. Then I go to this video or this uh, first lesson, video progression, come on tab. Over here, it's already there. The third one, video progression, fourth one, fifth one. Okay. Then I search for the introduction. Copy this link, copy the link. It's not necessary anymore. Paste the link, update. Go to the second video. I have that already. So to video 1.2, which is actually 1.3. I copy the link. So the title is seven reasons why I prefer affiliate marketing. So this is video 1.1, 1.2. What is affiliate marketing? 1.3, seven reasons why I prefer it. And I paste it. The next one, the title, the old way of doing affiliate marketing. Over here, the old way of doing affiliate marketing. Copy, copy the video link. Over here, I paste it, update. Then the next one, a much better way to do affiliate marketing. Over the years, I or over the months, I change the title sometimes. So here it's called a much better way to do affiliate marketing. I paste it. That's what you need to do with all your videos or all your lessons. Fill in the content. Oh, so I go to courses.ferdicorpsuk.com. There's my course. Uh, let me get rid of this really quick. Edit course. And as with all programs, the more you play around with it, the better you become at it. So I know immediately I go to settings. I scroll down all the way. I remove this and I uncheck this. I click on update. The more you play around with it, the easier it becomes to navigate. When I saw WordPress for the first time, I was like, wow, this is so ugly. I come from a, a Joomla background and now I love it. It's so easy to work with. So if I go to my course and I watch the first video, I can click over here and I go to the next lesson. And you see, I go to the next lesson over here. I click here. Okay, nice. Third one. Hi guys. Was it the same video? <laughs> Seven reasons I love affiliate marketing. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. The old way of doing affiliate marketing. Hi guys. In this video, I'll tell you what. Always check the content of your website, uh, of your course. Otherwise it can be that there's an error and uh, people buy the course and they see that and they are like, Hey, it's not working. So here I'll show you a better way to do affiliate marketing. So, um, I mark it as complete. Also this one, 
and then I see I'm at 8% already. So that's what, there are a lot of things over here that makes it easier for people to navigate through the website to the course. And my goal is for them to become successful with it. Learn Dash helps me to achieve that through this beautiful interface. People can scroll to the whole course with a go public. Okay, introduction, create a Gmail account, create a YouTube channel, upload your first video, how to optimize it. Okay, make a website, email marketing. Everything is within or at the, at the tip of my fingers. Um, right now I have a smaller screen because um, I'm recording in a certain um, certain resolution, but I have a bigger screen and I have a 13 inch, but if I would stretch it like this, everything fits perfectly. I see the video immediately. So there's a reason you don't see it immediately because I made the screen smaller as you see over here and that causes me to scroll. Yes. So what you need to do now, you need to fill in all the content of your website and then I will be back with you. So I uploaded all the content and now if I scroll down and I go to video 4.5.05, I see this video 26 minutes. I can go to the next video 40 minutes. So you see there are long videos. Uh, if you have really long videos, it's also an option to cut them into pieces and you can do that by creating topics. So if I would like to cut this video in four parts, I have 3.6 over here. I can go to the backend. I go to learn dash to topics and I can create a few topics. So I click on add new. And as I said before, how I like to work, let's go back, hold command, add new, add new, add new, add new. So now I have four new topics. And the first one is called download DaVinci Resolve. Copy and publish and publish. The second one is called install DaVinci Resolve. If you don't want to publish it twice, click over here, go to the preferences and include the pre-published checklist. Turn it off. Then you need to publish it only once. That uh, saves some time. So I copy DaVinci Resolve, um, edit your video. I don't need it anymore. DaVinci Resolve. Edit your video and the fourth one, publish your video. All within DaVinci Resolve, which is a free program that helps you to edit videos. So um, what I can do now over here, I can go to settings I scroll down. I can add a video over here, video progression. I don't have a video now, so I turn it off, but you can have a video. And then the associated course is fill it marketing course and the I search for DaVinci. Okay. And I save it. The second one settings, third one settings, fourth one settings. I scroll down affiliate and DaVinci update next one. So they're all connected now with that one video from that one course DaVinci all with 3.06, the latest one affiliate and it's uh, you get a nice it looks nice let me show you in a minute so now they're all linked those four lessons let me refresh them there they are all linked with this course and this lesson so now if i go to that lesson over here what i will see in the overview already three point or it was four point six 3.06, how to edit in DaVinci. Expand, and then there's lesson content, download DaVinci Resolve. So something did not go right. Let me open this video, this lesson. I can watch this video, but then below this video, I have those four lessons. So I click on the first one and it says, please go back and watch the video for the previous lesson. So I go back. That means I need to first finish this video. So I mark this one as complete and then I can watch the second video Then I can watch the third one and then I can watch the fourth one. Actually, there's also an easier way. So what I can do, I can go to the back end to learn courses 
And then to this one, I go to the builder. And then I click here on the arrow down. And now I can also create a new topic. Topic one, add a topic and topic. Two, and then third one, really important, Tropic, no Topic, but Tropic Thunder. If you do this, then the rest of the website will automatically be created. It's, it's just weird. Okay, it's, it's making no sense what I'm saying. I just thought about Tropic Thunder since it's... Okay, enough about that. <laughs> That's a weird thing. Sometimes I save things. And if I go back, it still says, hey, are you sure? So that is that is a bug. So uh, do I say bug the right way? What do you think about a mosquito right now? So also over here, I can go to topic one. So let's talk about this. What is this? So why is this shown? It's so irritating. Well, I said that there needs to be a linear way of following the score. So you need to start with video one. After that video too, you cannot go to a certain video over here because I said they need to watch the first video first, then the second one. In order to fix this, go to the back end, holding command or control on the PC, then go to courses. And then we go to the affiliate marketing course and I change the settings over here. If I scroll down from linear to Reform allows the user to move freely through the course without following the designated step sequence. So now when I refresh this, I can go anywhere. I can create a Facebook group if I want to. And if I go to the other one, four topics, I can go to the first one. No message. I am free to do whatever I want to do. So I have my introduction video or the video I want to have. Well, it's really long, so I want to cut it in four pieces. And then over here, we can show it. Well, it is an option. It's like a next layer below section and lessons. But for me, I don't need it. But I just want to show you that it is possible. So what I can do, I can make one video on how to make a website and then have a lot of small videos on how to make a website. But what I did, I created a whole Topic about it, create a website, get a domain, all that stuff. So that's how I prefer it. I think I don't want to overwhelm people with topics and all that stuff. So uh, it's just an option what you can do with this. And uh, I just want to show you that. So right now, what we have is this course with a thumbnail, with a title, with a text, with more information. If I open this incognito, I have a thumbnail over here. I'm not enrolled. The price is 197. We can take this course or we can log in. We can see what materials we need. We can watch a sample video for free or a whole section. And if you're like, we want to buy it, we can take the course. And then we go directly to PayPal. Well, that's a little bit, uh, that's a really big shortcut. So maybe that you scare people away. Like, Hey, you don't have any information. I need to pay something. Or you can log in and then it looks like this. I can log in or I can register. Make sure when you do this that you go to the back end, go to learn dash settings. Make sure two things. One, that this is turned on, login, login and registration. And you go to the settings of WordPress general in a check anyone can resist register if you do that then people can register so i can say jeffrey my email is ferdy corp at gmail.com i click on register Registration successful, please check your email and to set your password. So now I go to my Gmail account over here, set my password, I hide this, and then I click on save password. 
I'm still incognito. So I click on login. My name is Jeff. My password is this. And now I can go to the front end. I can see this over here. And now I can click on take this course and then I can I go to my PayPal account. But let's go back to my to my administrator account. This one, then I go to courses. My course. I go to the settings. I scroll down. I can make it uh, open. Everybody can access it. I can make it free. By now, I can also make it recurring. So I can say five dollars per month every month. So sixty dollars per year. If you have a thousand people that do this, it's sixty thousand dollars per year. If you make it twenty-seven, it is twenty-seven times twelve times thousand. It's a nice amount of money as long as you offer great value. You can also make it closed. That is interesting. And then we can create a custom button. So that's what we're going to do later. Uh, I also want to integrate Stripe as a payment method. So what I want to do, I want to talk about integrating this with WooCommerce. Click on update. I think that when you sell a course for $197 and people click on take this course and the only thing they see is a login button and the price of $197 and they can log in into PayPal. It can cause the customer to think, okay, what's this? Why do I need, need not need to leave some information? It can cause people to doubt a little bit if they should continue with the sell, sell with the buying stuff. You know what I mean? So what I prefer to do when people click on take me to the course or get this course, I want them to go to a landing page with more information and with the button that says buy this course. And when they click on it, they go to the, uh, the, the bottom of that page. There's a beautiful checkout created with card flows and there they can buy the course. When they buy the course, they get the login details. They already have them. They go automatically to the member area and they can follow the course. So it's all a little bit smoother. Uh, so I think it's better. People see more information about the course and the way of paying is easier than when they go directly to a PayPal method. And now, since we are going to use WooCommerce for this and card flows, they can pay with Stripe because we can integrate Stripe with WooCommerce. What is Stripe? Stripe is one of the best payment providers in the world that will enable people to pay with PayPal or with credit card or with different payment providers. You can select them all. And I will show you in this tutorial how you can set up your Stripe account. And then it's a win-win situation because people can through multiple ways and the whole structure of paying is easier. So people pay easier. And yeah, I think you know what I'm trying to say. That's actually what I wanted to say. It is easier for people to check out that way and to pay with different payment providers. So it's a win-win situation. I like win-win situation because then both parties win. And when the winner wins, they're a double winner and double winners go through life as a winner. So the whole world in the end is a winner when the whole world watches this tutorial. Okay. I'm talking stupid things. Let's continue with the tutorial. And now I want to go to the course and I want to go to plugins at new. Let's install WooCommerce. WooCommerce. install and activate. The goal is that when people click over here, that they go to a page where they can leave their information, choose their payment method. And then when they sign up, they get the login details as you just saw with Jeffrey and then they can sign up for the course. And when they're a member, they can sign into more courses, pay them and get access. So that's how that works. Since we activated WooCommerce, we have a setup wizard. I don't need that. So I click on skip store details. No thanks. Okay. Then I go to the settings over here from WooCommerce. Leave your details over here. I sell to all countries since I'm talking about digital products and this is all fine. I want to use American or United States. 
dollars. I think this should be a point and this should be a comma. Save the changes. Okay. Now if I go to pages, there are no pages for WooCommerce. So what I need to do, I need to go to WooCommerce status. It can be the case that it has already happened with you. So check it at the pages if you see the cart page, etc. We need to go to tools, the second tab. And I search command F for pages. Here it says create pages, create default WooCommerce pages. Create pages. Okay. And now if you go to the pages, they are created. Now I go to learn dash add-ons and I want to integrate WooCommerce for learn dash. Install now. Then I click on activate. I go back to the add-ons. If I want to, I can check for an update. There's no update. So it's all fine. Okay. Now I go to WooCommerce. And then below that products, all products. And I can create my first one. I click here or you click on add new or over here, new product. This product is called affiliate marketing course. Okay. The only thing I want to do is go to the simple product, product data, change it to course. Then I say I sell this for $5 at this moment. Actually, it's $997 and right now it is five. But you know what? I just say five. Uh, of course, product image. Check this one, select this one. And I click on publish. And of course, we need to link it with the course. Otherwise, WooCommerce doesn't know what people are paying for. So over here at general information, Learn their courses. We need to select the affiliate marketing course. Update. And now, if I click over here, this is our course. We can buy it for five dollars. Now I copy this link. Copy. And now you see over here all those, uh, all those pages. We need to create a menu that we are going to make it look better later. And I can do a few more things. I can go back to products and quick edit. And I turn off enable reviews. So right now this product and this course are totally not related and we need to link them actually. So I go to this course. I go to the settings and I say over here below the course is closed the price is five dollars and the button url refers to the woocommerce product so let's see how it looks right mouse click incognito so now i click on more information and if i click on take this course i go to this page uh -huh. Now I can add it to the cart. I can view the cart. I can proceed to the checkout. I can leave my details, but this is not really appealing in my opinion. What I want when I click over here and I click on take this course, I want to go to a beautiful landing page where I can leave my details instead of this thing over here. So how can I do that? We need card flows for that. And we're going to use the free version. And in order to get it, we go to 30corp.com forward slash card flows. Hit enter. Then I click on get card flows. And you used to get the free version over here. Maybe they hit it somewhere. Okay, you can try it for free. Okay, let's go back to backend to plugins add new and search for card flows it's updated a day ago it's a really good plugin and i click on install now activate awesome 
Now we can start the wizard, but I want to skip the setup. And I want to create a landing page with the WooCommerce checkout, but then the checkout that is designed better. And that is done with card flows. So over here, I see card flows. I can go to flows. I want to add a new one. So I click on add new. And I need to have Elementor installed. So I go to um, plugins, add new. I search for Elementor, the best free page builder in the whole universe. Assuming there are no aliens with better page builders for WordPress. That will be something, you know, people from a different planet or people, aliens using WordPress for their websites. Something to think about, you know, when you're thinking about life. Those are the questions I have. Like, hey, do aliens use WordPress? And if so, would they also be able to have Wi-Fi? Maybe if they have 6G, I don't know. So um, let's go back to card flows and then to flows. Add new, that's where we were. And now we can choose a few products. There are pro versions for the pro version of card flows, but also free ones. And um, you can take a look, few older steps. And there are two steps. So there's the checkout. So you can have all this information and then the checkout. And then when people buy it, you can create a page like this. Well, actually, I like this one. So you can say something about your uh, product. Uh, you can go back, take a look at other ones. Also here, also nice, trusted by reviews, frequently, frequently, frequently asked questions. And this one, they're also beautiful. Man, it's hard to choose. Three pages, the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. I only want to use the checkout page, but I want to use the checkout page as a landing page. I'll show you how you can do that. So if we would take this one, for instance, and we import it, what will happen? We can give this a name, and I call this affiliate marketing course. You can have a checkout for every single course you have. But right now, I want to focus on only one. It's importing the flow, then it's redirecting everything. And there are the three steps. So over here, if I take a look at or I click on view, I see this whole page. And it is made with Elementor, so we can we can change the look and view over here. We can change this. And then when we, we click over here. Then we go to the checkout page, but there's no product selected. So the first thing we need to do, we need to add a product to this flow. How can we do that? Well, let me go to the checkout page, click on edit. Yes, then I go to products. I add a new product and I search for affiliate and there it is already. And I add the product Then I scroll down and I save it. And what I want to do, as I said before, I want to go back and I don't want to have a landing page, but I want my checkout page and landing page to be one page. So what I can do, I can click on edit. So I edit the landing page, edit with Elementor. And by the way, I have a lot of tutorials about Elementor. It's my favorite free page builder and the pro version also has a lot of beautiful features and I have tutorials about every subject. Right now I click on this arrow up and I click and save as a template landing page. So now it will save the whole page that has been created with card flows like that. Okay. And I click here. I exit to the dashboard. Back to the uh, step editing and back one more time. Then I want to remove the landing page, delete. And then at the checkout page, I click on the view. This is how it looks right now. This looks better than the normal one from um, WooCommerce. And I click on edit with Elementor. 
Then I want to click on the plus over here. Then I click on this folder. I go to my templates and I insert the landing page. Okay. This can be removed. Okay. So now we have the landing page and this page in one. I click on update. Okay, let me go back over here. Refresh this. Okay, the checkout page. What I want to do, I want to change the name for the checkout page. If I click on view, it is called dot com forward slash checkout page, but it's only the checkout page for this course. Maybe you have multiple courses. Well, in that case, you can change the name. If you want to do that, go to the checkout page. Go to the WordPress editor. And then over here at the permalink. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. The page was not fully loaded yet. I wait a second and then I go to the permalinks and I say AMF affiliate marketing AMC course checkout page update. So now this is the whole link. So I click over here. This is the checkout page. So what happens? I can watch all this information and if I'm like, I want to buy this then I can leave my details over here, pay. And place the order after I place my order. Let me go back here. I go to the thank you page. So, also, the thank you page can be adjusted with Elementor. So, I can have a thank you video. I like videos. So, what I will do, I make a video and say thank you. What you can do right now, you received an email, and then you can log in or create your own password, and then you get access to the course. So, um, let's connect all the dots to each other or all the links. So I go to my website incognito, $5 more information, take this course for $5. Now I go over here. That is not what I want. So what I will do, as you have seen, we have this checkout page. I want to refer to that page. So um, I go to the course, affiliate marketing course. Then I go to the settings. I scroll down and here at closed, I paste this link. Okay. But now it's still a little bit weird. So if I go to the back end, I go to the front end. Right mouse click incognito. It's, it's a weird process right now. Okay. $5. Interesting. Let me click over here. Oh, there's more information. Here's an overview of what we can cover. Okay. And I click over here. Now I see a, a whole page about this. Oh, ah, and then I can check out. So for me, that is not, yeah, I don't know. It it's, feels a little bit weird. Okay, forgive me for what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to change a few things in the beginning. It looks a little bit odd, but what, what I want to show you, I want to show you different ways on how to do things. So what I will do now, I will show you how you can create the same kind of results in Elementor. And then I want to link the link on the homepage directly to the landing page. So I want to skip a page. I will just show you how it will look. After that, we're going to make it uh, switch it back. But I just want to give you all the options that are possible. So forgive me if it looks a little bit clumsy, but in the end, it will all be fine. In the end, we'll have a beautiful website with a beautiful member area, beautiful courses. In the end, it will all be fine. So bear with me for the next part of this tutorial. So what I can do, let me go to the homepage, edit the page. Decide. I remove all the stuff by going to the code editor, command A, backspace, update. Then I want to edit this page with Elementor. Let 
I create a new area with three columns. Then I want to add an image. I click here. I go for the scores. And I want to go for a heading. The affiliate or affiliate marketing course. I go to the style. I change the text color to black right now. We can make it a little bit smaller. Bring it to the center. Let me see. Go to the content center. Okay. We can have a small text. So let me go to the home page. To courses. And then grab this text. Paste it over here. Okay, and then I can have a button of the whole width that goes to, let me see, go to the back end. Are still with me? No, I'm covering a lot. Um, let's go to card flows. Flows. This one. Checkout page. View. Copy this link. And paste it over here. Update. So what happens now? You skip a part. People go to the home page. This is the home page. They can click here. Then they go to the landing page. And there they can check out for the course if they want to. You see it over here, the affiliate marketing course for $5. You can have a coupon code maybe. But there are no payment options. So um, before I talk about payment options, let me first make everything look a little bit better. So I want to go to the customizer and I click over here on the logo area. I want to select a logo and I have it over here. The logo is white. Skip the cropping. So what I need to do first, let me remove the title and make it a little bit smaller. I need to make the background dark so I can click over here, click on this icon, go to design and then the background color is this color. Okay. Then I go to the primary menu to design and I make the text link white when people hover over it a little bit gray okay perfect publish i want to go back to the icon right now we see wordpress over here so i want to change the fave icon how can i do that i go to the logo again and i scroll down and then here's the site icon i can drag it over here skip the cropping and now it looks like that affiliate marketing course. Then we have this menu over here. Well, the menu is automatically generated. So I want to create a custom menu. So I will go back over here, go back and I go to the menus. I create a new menu. I call this one main menu. I want to add it to the primary area, which is this one. Then I click on next. Now you see nothing. So I can add a few items if I want to add an item. Well, I have the homepage already. So I can click on the plus and it will appear over here. Right now you don't see it because the website is really small, but I can also create a new page about add. Or I can add a custom link really handy. 
where is it over here custom link so i go to facebook i go to my private family group which is for the people that bought my course so i paste it over here and i say facebook group add to the menu and people should be able to reach out so i create a new page called contact and i edit over here publish and now it looks like that well if people click over here they go to the home page so i don't need the home page publish but what we can also do there's so much we can do let me go over here to this page right now it's called amc checkout page what i also can do i can go over here go to the checkout page edit it edit with the wordpress editor change the name over here to affiliate marketing course lp for landing page and then over here i say affiliate marketing course LP for landing page. Update. Okay. So now if I copy this and I paste it over here, this is the page people will go to. You know, I cannot smell if you're going to sell one course or multiple courses. I wish I could smell it. I think you're going to sell one course. Am I right? Well, 50% chance um, more people, other people will probably sell multiple courses. Well, either way, I want to show you what is possible with uh, both situations. So what I want to do now, if you only sell one course on your website, maybe you want to have a landing page. What is a landing page? It is a long page where people land on when they go to your website and they can, uh, that, that page has one goal to let people buy the product you promote. So you can place a lot of information over there, a nice video about, about what the product is, uh, testimonials from what other people think it does for them. Uh, you can make that such a beautiful page and in the end, people can click on the buy now button or they can go directly to the checkout on the landing page and it has no distractions. So people can do two things or they can leave the, the page or they can buy the product. So you want to, to make sure that people don't have too much options. So if you create a page with a menu with 20 different options, the chance of them clicking on the buy now button is less than when there are only two options. The one option closing the site, the other option buying the product or the third option, they just keep their, uh, your website open. But the longer they keep their website open, the more Google thinks it's a good website. So then you will rank better. So win-win, there we are again. It's a win-win situation. So. That's what we're going to do right now. I will show you how to create a landing page and then use it as your homepage page. Was that a voice crack? Please don't use it in different videos uh, where people that people make that are combined of people on YouTube having voice cracks. I don't want to record this part again because I think I was in the, on, in the flow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should record again. No, it's what it is. It is what it is. I'm making it worse. So let's continue with this part of the tutorial. I can also make this the home page. So there's only one landing page for this website with one goal to make somebody a customer. In that case, you can go to the customizer, go to the home page settings. And over here, choose the affiliate marketing course LP. So what happens now, let me close everything. If people go to my website, this is the first thing they will see. Okay. So now I need to make this really appealing so I can make visitors customers by showing how great my course is. Of course, the course then needs to be great. So that is what we can do now. You see, there is uh, no header, no heading and no footer. Why? Because this is a landing page and the landing page has one goal to make the visitor a customer. So if you say the Facebook group and about us and get in contact, you can distract people from your goal. And the goal is to make them a customer. 
Now you need to build your landing page. Well, I have to be honest, I'm not good with that. I'm not a good salesman. I'm just a nice guy. I can learn it, I know, and I'm learning it. But if you want to know how to create a landing page, just take a look at other people. For instance, um, clickfunnels.com. Those guys are the best in creating good landing pages. So there's a title. Start with a free trial call to action. A nice video that makes it look really impressive with what they are doing. Then how many users they are building uh, trust. Like, whoa, so many contacts, so many funnels. $10 billion already processed. What is a funnel? Answering questions. Showing people, uh, letting other people tell how great this product is. So there will definitely be testimonials. This one has a demo call to action. If you click over here, first thing you need to do, leave your details and then you can go to the next step. So, and then when they get your email address, they will send you emails automatically. So here it shows you how great it is. And every time they show an image or a call to action. So call to action. No, not, not yet convinced. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Maybe now they are convinced. Start a new trial. Maybe you're not convinced yet. You keep on reading. Now you're convinced. So they have that button all over the place with one goal to make you buy this. You see all those um, testimonials as well. This software is really expensive. I have used it. I think there's this is a, a better solution, cheaper solution. It can almost do the same things. So you can create this page if you want to with Elementor and with click with uh, with uh, card flows. So that's how you can create a sales funnel. What I want to do now, I want to focus on this area over here. So if people fill in their information, what will happen? Well, over here it says it seems that there are no available payment methods for your state. Please contact us if you require assistance. So what I want to do, I want to link this with Stripe. If you take a look at stripe.com, stripe.com is one of the best payment providers in the world. It's really safe and it's really easy to set up. I have a tutorial about it and I will show you how you can do that. So what I can do, what I've done already, I can go to the backend. I can go to learn dash add-ons and here it says strive for learn dash. Well, I don't need this one because I will link it to WooCommerce. So I will search for plugins, add new. And then I search for Stripe, Stripe, WooCommerce Stripe payment gateway. Install now. I don't know, there are a lot of dislikes. But for me, this, this works like a charm. It's uh, by WooCommerce, so you can trust them. I activate it. Okay. Then we can go to the settings. So right now we can go to WooCommerce. Settings. Payments. And then over here we can select Stripe. Credit card Stripe. And you can have all these options now because we installed Stripe. So you can say Stripe with credit card. You can have PayPal. You can have uh, Stripe Ben content, Giro Pay, EPS, Ideal, which I really like for uh, people from the Netherlands and from Belgium. So I save the changes. And now I need to set up my Stripe account keys. I can click over here. Or I go to payments, so settings, payments, and then over here at Stripe, I click on manage, and then I go to the same place. So what I like to say, uh, Stripe, credit card Stripe is okay. Pay with your credit card via Stripe, and I want to enable the test mode. How can you do that? Well, first. Go to YouTube, how to set up a Stripe account.
and then 30. Here it is. A lot of views, a uh, simple explanation on how to set it up. When you've done that, you can go to Stripe, go to your dashboard. So I'm in my dashboard right now, and then I go to Developers, API Keys, and then we need to go to the test data. We're going to test it first. Okay, viewing test data. And now we can create a test key. So here it is already. Publishable key. I copy it. So test publishable key. I paste it over here. I need to check that it's in test, mo uh, test mode. Then there's the test secret key. And that's over here. You need to review it over here. Don't show this to anyone. I will also blur it out for you. Not for you. I trust you, of course. What? And then... Um, Test webhook secret and say over here G six F F F small capital G F seven J yeah that not just kidding for this code we need to go to webhooks we need to add an endpoint and and over here we need to find the endpoint which is this copy and by the way you need to do this on a live website not on a test domain that's not live. So the endpoint URL is over here. I found it over here. Then description AMC course. Um, I use the newer version and event to send I say charge over here because my if this all works correct my account will be charged with money. At the endpoint. Okay. I review the signing secret, copy it, and then I paste it over here. We can use an inline credit card form. Right now, I will not do that. I will show you later how it looks. Statement descriptor. Well, affiliate. This is what people will see on their uh, bank account. Affiliate mar course. Capture the charge immediately. Well, if you want to know more about it, I want to charge it immediately. Payment request button. Um, yes, I turn it on. This is all fine with me. We can save cards. So the next time they buy something, their details are stored. Of course, we cannot see it, but it's encrypted. I like that so people can buy the next thing easier. Save the changes. I believe that the easiest way for people to get access to your course is by letting them create their own username and password while they are checking out. What you also can do is that people can just sign up, pay the money, and then they need to click on a link to create a username. They need to click on a link to create their own password. But the best way is if they do it in the checkout because then they get access to the course immediately. They click on the buy now button and when the uh, payment is processed, they have access immediately. They can click on a link and they go to an overview with their courses without needing to do a lot of other stuff like creating custom passwords. So that's what we're going to do right now. Then we go to accounts and privacy. If I open this in a new tab, I remove this area over here and I go to the checkout. What I see over here, I can leave my email address, but that's it. I want people to create an account. So I want to do a few things over here. When people are not logged in, I don't want to have guest checkouts. People need to create an account in order to buy a course. So I uncheck allow customer to place orders without an account. They need an account. And then over here, account creation, there are a few options. Allow customers to create an account during the checkout. Yes. Allow customers to create an account on the my account page. No. When creating an account, automatically generate an account username for the customer based on their name, surname, or email. No. And when creating an account, automatically generate an account password. No. I want them to create their own password. Okay. So I save it. And then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to log out and to check everything out if it works. So I go to the website, not being logged in. And there's my page. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. I'm convinced. I leave my details over here. 
And then I need to create an account over here with a username. So I say 30 Corpus Hook. I create a password. And of course, you need to fill in all these other fields over here. I want to buy this course for just $5. And then I want to use the test at Stripe. So I copy this, paste it, paste it, paste it. And if I want to, I can save the payment information. If I want to do future purchases, that's amazing. So if people like my course and they want to buy my Photoshop course, the checkout will be easier because their information will be stored. It will be encrypted, of course, so I cannot see it and other people cannot see it. Then I can place the order. And what will happen now? I used FerdyCorp at Gmail, so I need to check my mail. I will go to the thank you page, which is this one. I can save my settings over here. So this is interesting. I bought $5. This is the course I bought, blah, blah, blah. So now if I go to my Gmail account, what will happen? I will have a few emails. First one, your account has been created. My username, which I defined myself or created myself. Then thank you for your order. Okay. And then thank you for shopping with us. Okay. So now I should have a link over here. Uh, I prefer to make a video like, hey, thank you for purchasing. You made an amazing choice. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. Watch the course and become rich, filthy rich. So you can give a lot of money away to other people. To inspire other people. I don't know. Have more time to do whatever you want to do. So now I should have a link that says go to your account. So my dash account. That is a page right now because we have your WooCommerce. So now we're here at my account and a few things I see and I want to change them. There's no space over here because this area is created with Gutenberg. I want to create it with Elementor. Second one, I want to have this page in my menu over here so I can go directly to my account. The third thing, I don't see an overview with my courses and I don't see my profile. So I want to fix it all and that's what I'm going to do right now. So what I will do, I go over here to log out. Then I log in with my administrator account. And then I want to edit this page. And then I see this short code. I will copy this short code, remove everything. By the way, maybe you don't see this because you need to click over here and go to the code editor instead of the visual editor. So go to the code editor, copy that code. I click on update. Now I want to edit my account page with Elementor. Right now it's the account page of WooCommerce and WooCommerce is not related with LearnDash. So we don't see anything about our courses. I want to show that. So how, what I will do, I will click on the plus over here with Elementor, one column. And then over here I click and I search for short code. Before I continue, I want to do a few things. I click here, go to the user preferences, make the interface of Elementor dark and turn on the editing handles. That's what I prefer. I go back, I search again for short code and I drag it over here. Now I can paste the short code and there it is. But now I can go to advanced and I can increase the margin. So there will be a little bit more space over here. So let's say 40 pixels. Update. So this is what I see right now, but I want to see more. In order to see more about my profile, for instance, I go to 30corp.com, hit enter, then go to tutorials and here learn this tutorial and there is a short code for you. So I scroll down over here is the short code for our profile. I want to show my profile over here. So I click on the plus plus click over here and then I want to go for a short code again. I drag it here and this is that short code. Look at this. This looks so much better. I see how many courses I have. If you hit marketing course, I see my progress. So that's really nice. I want to show one more thing. So over here, I click on the plus again, plus one area. Again, I go for a short code, the third one on this page. Wow. And then I go over here and I grab this code. Click three times, copy it, 
paste the code and now you'll see all the courses with your progress if you have that course. So um, what I also can do, click over here and give it a dark background look. So um, something like that or maybe bluish. Well, I have a few colors I want to use. So um, what I will do, click over here, hold command or control and I click. Then I want to go to the WordPress logo. Don't save this area. Then I want to go to learn dash settings. And I want to make use of those colors. This color, copy it. Then over here, I go to this icon, site settings, global colors, the first color, paste it. Okay. Then there's the second color. And I use the accent color and I, I paste it. Okay. So now I have those global colors. What I can do now, I can go close this, click over here, go to the style, grab a global color by clicking on this icon. And now I can use this color. Okay. Also here, go to advanced adding, check this. Bring it all a little bit closer. Same goes for this area. How about 30 everywhere? It's also here, 30 and here. Let me see. Okay. Let's say 30. And then I go to this element and there I remove this. So now it looks like this, our profile page or our account. Then I want to go over here to the dashboard, close this, I close this and I close this. I go back to this WordPress icon. Okay. Then I go to appearance, menus, And I want to search for all the pages and then the, my account page, I add it over here. So we have about Facebook group, contact my account, save the menu. But if I go to the homepage, remember our homepage is landing page. So let's bring it back. I just want to show you multiple options. That's why I sometimes sometimes do something and then change it back later how can i do that i go to the customizer over here go to the home page settings and bring this back to the home page okay publish close this i want to edit this with elementor but not create this manually but this time go again to 30corp.com to tutorials, learn dash tutorial. And again, I want to grab this area, click three times, get rid of this, create a new area with a short code element. And there I want to show all my courses. I only have one apply. And then above that I can have this header. It says our most popular courses. So right now we go back to a multiple course system. I bring it to the center, go to advanced, increase the margin a little bit. Update. So how does our website look right now? I click over here. So I go to the homepage for most popular courses. I click over here Then I see this overview. And if I've not bought it yet, then I can click over here and then I go to the landing page. I can buy it. So right now, if I would log out and I go to the home page and I click on my account, then I need to log in. So I better get this area on top over here because I'm not logged in right now. 
I log in with the account that I use to buy a $5 course. And then I see I have one course over here. And I can continue with that course. And also when I'm logged in, I go to my account. I can scroll down. I can log out or change my details over here, change my payment method. So I rather bring, bring this area on top because if I go to a different area, this area changes, but you don't see it. So people can be a little bit confused and I don't want to confuse people. So, so far, so good. If I go to my homepage, our most popular courses, and you can make this page as beautiful as you want. So we can create more courses, create uh, group courses. So you can buy two courses for the price of one, or you can sell membership so that people can pay one a month per month or per year or per week, or I don't know, and then have access to everything that you have to offer. I will make a tutorial in the future on how to create your own community around this using Buddy Boss. And uh, as I said before, this is a real course. I really want to use courses that Ferdy Corpsook for my courses. So I have to make it as good as possible and everything I do, I will show you that in this tutorial. So what I want to do now, I want to log out and just a few things. I want to log in as an administrator and I want to edit this page first, edit with Elementor. I can bring this area up. I can even make the background dark. I like to work with dark areas and then light areas. Oh, not like this. So I click over here on the column. Then I go to the background, make it white. It's also easy with Elementor. Then I want to go to the this area section, top, make a small white border. Otherwise they have both the same background. So this is how it looks right now. I think that looks amazing. Open. What else do I want to do? Well, if I go to a new window incognito, let me go to the home page. And I click over here. And I take this course. I see a page that does not exist because we changed the link over here. So what I need to do Go to the back end, go to card flows, flows, edit, edit, edit with WordPress. And I click over here, I go to the permalink, grab this, I go back. Then I want to go to courses, the affiliate marketing course, settings, scroll down, the custom URL, paste it, and then of course, grab this first area, copy. So if you grab the whole link, it should go to the landing page. Yes. Update. Now I want to go to the home page. Right mouse click, open in an incognito window. More information. Wow, just $5 for all this stuff. How great is that? And then I click on take this course. And then I go to the landing page. There I can fill in all this information. I will do that. I will also show you what I will fill in. And then I can leave my details, pay with credit card. And then after that, I go to this page. Let me go to flows, affiliate marketing course. I go to the thank you page, edit with Elementor. And there I can change the background color my style like that thank you your order has been received join the community i don't have that so 
So I can say thank you or congratulations on your purchase. Let me see if I can have a nice icon. Yes. Also here. I remove this area, nothing. And then I want to have a button here below in the center. And I say, go to your account. Link forward slash my dash account, or you can say my, and I see an option, my account. And here you see the information. So after they buy it, they go to this page. Congratulations on your purchase. Go to your account. When they go to their account, they go to this page. There they see this information and then here. They see they have enrolled in this course and they can go to that course. And when they click on one of the course lessons, they go to this area. So we're getting there. And I see this area because I'm the administrator, but if you're not an administrator, you just bought my course, then you don't see this area. You can focus on everything that is here. So we're getting there, but now we are only talking about one course. What if you want to sell multiple courses? What if you want to sell bundles, like two courses for the price of one and a half, or you want to sell a membership? How can you do that? So I will go to the back end, and of course, this time I will show it a little bit faster. So I go to courses or learners LMS courses. I want to add my Photoshop course. So I click on add new and I do the same process as with the affiliate marketing course. I give it a title ultimate. No, ultimate Photoshop mastery. This is how I type with a lot of errors. I can say something about the course. Okay. Then I want to go to course, scroll down, set a featured image. And I go to my desktop. Ultimate Photoshop mastery. And I set it as a featured image. I can create a course category design and then a subcategory. Photoshop with the parent design, edit and publish. So let me see when I would go to the home page. It will show the second course. Nice. Now I want to go to the settings, scroll all the way down and create a short description. And the custom button text is learn more copy this update it because right now it says more information and see more so i want to change that so i go to the courses also the affiliate marketing course then i go to the settings scroll down all the way and paste it here at the custom button text because i want to have everything to look the same so over here i have two rows two lines here i have three so what i will do i will go to this course learn how to build a passive income stream while helping other people on automatic pilot i'll show you step by step how it can be done let's see if i have three lines for both courses now Yes, so I like that they look exactly the same in the height and the width. Okay, then of course I need to go back to the course and then to the Photoshop Mastery course and then to the builder because I need to create the content for this course. Well, I have it over here. So I start with the intro. So first a new section, zero one in Production 
and then I create my lessons again. So I'll fast forward because you know how this works. Paste it at the lesson, etc. So I will be back with you. So this is the overview of what I will cover in my Photoshop course. And I click on update. I go to the settings. If I want to have, I can have course materials. I have a course certificate where we're going to talk about it later. We discussed all this. Only thing I want to do, I want to go to closed. I want to make this course $67 and I will create a button URL. But then first I need to create a product for this. So I go back to the courses, close this. And I go to products, add new. Then I create the ultimate Photoshop mastery course. Copy this course for the price of $67. And it is over here, learn this courses, the ultimate Photoshop mastery course. That's all to it. Publish. Then I go to card flows. That's the third thing we need to do. Then I have the affiliate marketing course. I click over here. I clone this one. And then after that, you see the word clone. I click on edit. And I call this one the ultimate Photoshop mastery. Copy this. I save it. Then I want to edit the landing page, edit, I change the name, LP landing page, then I click on save the settings. Then I want to edit this with WordPress. So I click over here. Here's the right title, but here in the permalink, I want to use this one tab update. So now if I click here, I go to the landing page of the ultimate Photoshop mastery. I copy the whole link. Then I want to go back to the step editing. Then I want to go to products and here, of course, I do not promote the affiliate marketing course, but I promote another product, which is called Photoshop ultimate Photoshop mastery. So in that way we can link everything to each other. And then I save the settings and that link, which I just copied, I need to paste it over here at courses. Then the ultimate Photoshop mastery course. Then I need to go to the settings and the more you do this, the easier it becomes. And then over here, I need to paste that link. So that was a lot in a short time. So right now, if I refresh this page, People click on learn more. Let's do that in an incognito window. Awesome. That's how it looks. We can take the course, then we go to the landing page. Photoshop, Photoshop, ultimate Photoshop mastery. And then here below, people can leave the details. And over here it says the ultimate Photoshop mastery course. So that's how you do it. And the price is $67. And I should give people the opportunity to log in if they're already a member. We can do that here at the back end to WooCommerce settings, account and privacy, allow customers to log in to an existing account during the checkout. So if they're already a member, there's an opportunity for them to log in and then they don't need to fill in all their details again. And then when they buy that course, it will be added to their overview over here. So I have two courses now. Why? Because I'm the administrator. So I automatically will be added to every course that there is on the website. Okay. So next question, how can we combine those two courses for a special price? So let me see what is the price. So first, let me go to the other course, the affiliate marketing course. Let's make it 
at settings one ninety seven dollars. Update. Right mouse click open in an incognito incognito window. One ninety seven sixty seven. Okay. So what is a good price to combine them? Let's say to twenty seven. So you get quite some discount if you get them both. Well, how can we do that? Okay, let me show you. We go to the back end. We create a new course. Add new. Why do I create it over here? Because I want it to be over here in this overview. So I call this one affiliate marketing and Photoshop. That's everything I will place over here and a featured image. I go to the home page. Here's the bundle. So you see 50% of the course, one course, 50% of the other course. I click on publish. I don't need to build the outline. I'll show you later why. I need to go to the settings, close this, make it $224. And the button URL, I need to make it. So, let me go over here to the back end. Then I go to WooCommerce products at new. And I copy the title. Copy and paste. And over here I say it's a total of $224. Or here I can actually say uh, normally it will be 200 76 minus 374, but this time it's for $227. It includes the affiliate marketing course and it includes Ultimate Photoshop Mastery. Publish. Then I need to go to Card Flows, Flows. And I clone it again. So here I can click and I can paste it again, save it. I click on edit, paste it, save it, save the settings, edit in WordPress. Then I go to the perma link. Paste it, tap, update. And over here is the link. I click on it. I copy this. And here it says affiliate marketing and Photoshop. I paste that link over here. But before I forget, I need to go to the step, back to the step editing. And I go to products. And here I need to remove this one. And I add. A combined one. So let's save it. Close it. So let's go to the home page. Now I see three courses. I have no information over here. Right mouse click, open a link in an incognito window. Let me go back to the home page. This one is 224. See more. Two courses, take this course, and there it is. And if I scroll down, I see it's the affiliate marketing and Photoshop for this price. And when I buy this, I will, uh, and I go to my account, then I will see I have access to two courses affiliate marketing and ultimate Photoshop. So that's how it will go all automatically. And over here, it says returning customer, click here to log in. So if you click here, you can log in. You don't need to fill in all this information. You can pay. And if you have saved your credit card, it will be, um, it will auto automatically be filled in over here. Of course, you need to fill in your card code, your CVC, and then people can pay easier. So that's um, a nice way to do that, to combine that.
what you also can do if you want to you can change this to recurring and say every year one time per year you pay 199 and then you can say for the rest of your life every year as long as you pay 199 you will get access to all the courses and then in the product area you need to add all the courses to this or a one time payment of 997 997 dollars and you will have access to all the courses that will come in the future for a lifetime for a one time payment of 997 dollars and then of course you need to change the thumbnail change the title all that stuff so that's how you can do this i will keep it at closed and then this link update and of course since we're here at the settings to crafts and you will succeed of course you cannot not guarantee anything these days you need to be careful with that saying you can you definitely will make money with this but for the sake of the tutorial i will just place it over here it's four lines so i want to remove one let's see how this looks okay two lines over here and here and here three lines everywhere so that's what you can do so I just bought the combination package and right now I see I have two courses. So I don't see the combination course, this one. I only see the courses that can, are contained in this package. So um, what I can do, if I click over here, I go to this area. Uh, I don't like that. So what I can do, I can copy this link, everything from that come on. So the forward slash from that moment on, I copy this. And I close this and I go to the back end. I close this. I go to plugins, add new. And I search for redirection. Redirection. Everybody that goes to that page should go to a different page. So I click on activate. I need to set it up. It's just clicking a little bit, start, continue, finish. Finished, finished. Then over here, I click on okay, and I say add new, or I go over here, I paste the link. So it says everybody that goes to courses.freddycorpse.com forward slash courses affiliate marketing Photoshop should go to a different URL. So I go to courses, I open them in a new tab. I go to the affiliate marketing and Photoshop course. I go to the settings and I redirect them to this URL. So they go immediately to the landing page because there's no course content. So right now I go to the home page. And I click on see more. I will be redirected to the landing page immediately. You see? So that's really nice because then they don't see there's no course content. And over here, I should have a text about this combination offer for just $224. And to be honest, $67 for this course, not much. So I should also make it a 97 or a little bit more. And then I can also create a new price for the combination, maybe 249 or 47. So, uh, but that's all up to you, depending on the course you have, what kind of price you want to make, what kind of combination deal you want to make. So what I want to do now, there's so much I want to do. Of course, we're going to take a look at certificates, but right now I want to change the look and feel of this website. So it's not an affiliate marketing course website anymore. It's more than that because I also sell Photoshop. I sell combinations. So what I will do, I will show you how I will change the information. Right now, I click on customize. Then I want to go to this area and I want to make the background of the header white. So I go to design, background, make it white. Then I go to this primary menu and I want to go to design, the text link. 
I want to make it a dark color. Well, in order to get a dark color, copy, paste, go to the back end, to the learn dash settings. And here I grab that dark color. So I paste it. And when people hover over it, I can make it a bit lighter if I want to like that. Then I want to go to the menu font. I want to make it, let me see, transform or upper case case. <laughs> and I want to make it 400. Yeah, it's already that. Okay. Then I want to change the logo. So I click over here, remove the logo, select the logo. I just created a logo. I'm not a designer, but just something. I can do in Photoshop really easily. I have a tutorial about that. <laughs> How to create a logo in Photoshop. The FK, Further Corps Academy. I want to talk about in the future about um, getting more out of life, becoming successful, or changing your mindset. So I want to make uh, courses about that. So that's nice. And okay, this is, I like the header right now. I click on publish. Then I want to go back and back. And I want to go to the menus. Okay, main menu. I don't want to have an about page. People can know about me through YouTube. Uh, my account, I want to have that. And I can change contact, remove it. And then over here, there's a custom link to the Facebook group. Command A, Command C. Then I go and add an item. And it will be a custom link. And it says this link should be a uh, active link when people click on support. So when people click on support, they go to the Facebook group and there they can ask their questions. So two times the same link, but um, it helps people to go to the right place. And you know what? Change the order. Okay. Then I want to close this. I want to edit this page with Elementor and I want to add a new area. Click on the plus one column Then I want to change the height to a minimum height of 400. I go to the style, to the background type. I click over here on gradient. The first color is this color. The second color is also that color, but then a little bit lighter. And you can have, uh, you can save this color if you want to as a second color in your website. I change the angle to 90. Then I click over here. I search for a header. I drag it over here. And I say over here, do you like my tutorials on YouTube? Then you will also like my courses. And then a happy face. Okay. I want to bring this to the center. I want to go to the style, make the color white, make the typography family railway, change the transform to uppercase. Then I go to the content and here I do a small code like that. This one. And then it goes to a new line. Okay. Then I click over here. I want to go to the style or I mean the advanced and then over here, the background, change the background type to color and then change it to this color. And then I want to make it a little bit transparent. Okay. Then I want to go here at the advanced of the heading to positioning, change the width to custom. Okay. And then I go to advanced and I increase, sorry, sorry, sorry. I increase the padding. Sometimes I still get confused like that. Then I uncheck this area and at the left, I say, come on a little bit more to the center, please. Okay. Then I go to the section to the style, 
And then there's a background overlay. I click on background type, image, and I search for an image of myself with a transparent background. And teeth that are made wider in Photoshop and I made my face a little bit smaller. I really did. Then I want to uh, change the size to contain and three thirties is better than two. So now I don't want to have repeat. So I click on repeat, no repeat. And then the position center and right like that. Then I want to make myself fully visible. And I think this looks better already. If I click on the eye, you see, it looks like this. I like it a lot. Do you like my tutorials on YouTube? Then you will also like my course, courses, courses. Come on, 30 corpse cook courses. I use uh, Grammarly because I have a lot of errors in my uh, way of typing things. So that helps me. Okay. I think the website is really wide, so I can change it. If I go to the customizer, I can go to the global settings container and I can change the size to 1120. And then everything becomes a little bit smaller. Then I want to do the same at Elementor. So I click over here. So I go to the homepage. I click on edit with Elementor. I go on, click on, I click on this icon, site settings. And then over here, layout 11, 20. So it's all aligned better this area until this area. And I saved it. So if I click on the eye, click over here, that looks a little bit better. But now you see I have a fourth line because I made the website a little bit smaller. I don't want to have, um, I want everything to be the same. So what I will do first, let me add an L over here, command click, edit the course. And by now you should know how to navigate. I go to settings and otherwise I will show you and over here is the small text. Then I click over here in the new tab, edit the course, settings, I need to make it a little bit smaller. Let me see if this is enough. Refresh. It's two lines now. Okay. You can start at once. I don't know. Just say something to fill up the text. Refresh three lines. Awesome. Okay. I go back over here and I change this to our course overview. Then I click on this icon over here and I search for a anchor link, anchor menu, menu anchor. I drag it over here below this text and I type the text overview without capitals. Then I go back over here to all the elements and I search for a button, drag it over here and I say course it says overview something like that. And the link is hashtag overview. That means it when you click here, you go to this area. Then I like the, I like the color orange and here at margin or padding, I uncheck this and I say left. No, 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 no. I do it again the wrong way. Uncheck this at the left. Bring it over here. Do you like my tutorials on YouTube? Then you will also like my courses. Well, let me check. How it looks and if I update it, this page, I update it. Then if I click over here, I go to this area. Uh, maybe drag it on top. Okay. 
And then over here at the top, increase some spacing, update automatically. This area will be refreshed. Now when I click over here, I go to the course overview. Okay, so this looks better when you go over here. I want to make this a little bit thicker. So I go to the customizer. I click over here or using the extra theme. And then I go to design to the font menu font. And I make it 500 publish. Close it. Awesome. Facebook group, my account support course overview and also change this area. So I go to the customizer again. So I go to the footer builder and over here. I make the design background dark. So again, I need to get that color. Where can I get it? Well, I can go over here to the primary menu design, grab this color, copy, go back, go back, go to the footer builder, click over here, go to design and change the background to this color. Then I go to the copyright area to design, change the text color to white. And then I can go to general and I can have the copyright sign at the current year. And then the site title, I should change the site title. And then I remove the power by area. And then over here you could have privacy policy, a disclaimer terms of use you can make them all links so select the text make a link forward slash privacy policy then you need to create those pages so keep in mind that you need to do that disclaimer link to forward slash disclaimer so you need to create three pages and then fill in those details i'm not a lawyer or something like that but you can find on youtube or on the internet how you can Create a text or you go to a lawyer that can do that for you. Terms of use. There are also a lot of examples on the internet, but especially when you create something that's about making money online, you should have some very clear text over here about that. Um, you need to do your best in order to make money online. And it's not something that can be guaranteed because uh, a lot of people say, oh, making money online is easy. And then they get in trouble with lawyers and stuff. So they need to be, you need to be sure about what you offer and, and show it over here. Okay. I, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. I hide it. Let's close it. And let's, let's go to the Elementor editor. I always want to take a look on how things look on a different device, tablet. Yes, on a smartphone. So on a smartphone, I can click over here. This looks fine. Or on a smartphone, I can say, uh, go to the style of the section style. And then the overlay. I can say the op op size should be auto or cover or contain or custom. With custom, I can do whatever I want. I can also remove the image or I can bring it to the bottom. So bottom right, make it smaller. Over here, I will bring it to the center. So when I go to a tablet, 
it looks like this. When I go to a desktop, it, lo it look like, looks like this. And when I go to a mobile, it looks like that. Same over here. It looks fine in my opinion. In the future, I will also show you how you can create an app. But uh, I need to be careful with what I promise. Uh, you can do it with Body Boss. I want to do it for my own courses because I want to create a lot of courses. And then um, right now, everything is optimized. And in the future, people can also watch my courses on an app. And then they can interact with each other, ask questions. And uh, that way, I can have a successful academy next to my YouTube channel. Oh man, great times. Why is this colored like this? Well, I said that all the links should have a certain color. So if I go to the customizer, global colors, the link color is this color. I want to change it to this orange color, which I really like. I'm from the Netherlands. We play in orange. So when people hover over it, can become even lighter. And then over here, it looks like that. Awesome. Then I need to change the title of my website. Go to the back end and to settings general. And then I say 30 Corpus Hook Academy. Learn a new craft and become successful. With it. If I don't know if the word's correct, I think there should be added one letter. Copy it, copy it, paste it, and a capital for every new word. Because this is my website and I can decide what I want to do. With it. And uh, I save it. And of course, this area, I don't know why it's not the case yet. I need to add an S. And then I need to log in again. So now it's super secure. It already was, but I just like to do that. So our course overview. Our footer. My hard drive is almost full because of all the recordings. Okay. I need to finish it up and then make some space and continue. Yeah, I want to get rid of this image. It's such a big image and I want to focus on this area. How can we do that? I click on edit course. And since I use the extra theme, there are a few options over here at the right. And one of them, if I scroll down all the way, is disable the featured image. I click on update. I go back to the courses. I go to the home page. I click on the first course. And now it is gone awesome so um i can also use gutenberg to create information over here you have the course content but i think it looks better when you go over here you immediately see the title and all this stuff we can also combine this page with the landing page so if you go uh, you would click on so let's go to the incognito window you can also combine this page with this page. So you have everything in one page and then below that page, you can check out and then over here you can say click here and when you click there, you go to this area. So that's the real landing page. And then you can also have this area over here, the title, and you have more freedom to style it the way you want it. If you want that, then watch that tutorial over here or click on the description so you can see the tutorial. Right now I will stick with this setup. And I want to do the same thing with the other courses over here and over here. Command tab, edit the course. This one is not, is not necessary. So over here, I also say disable the featured image. Update. Back to the course. So I think we're really far already in the process of creating our complete course. That's all on automatic pilot. So if I click here, I want to see something about Photoshop. I see the title and I see all that stuff. And if I open this incognito, I click 
click over here and I can buy this for $67. And if I click over here, I go to the landing page. So of course we need to fix this landing page or we buy the bundle by clicking here and we go directly to the landing page of this bundle. So now we need to create those landing pages. And as I said before, I'm not a good uh, salesman when it comes to convincing people to buy this, even though I think the things I promote are really good, but I don't like to ask for, uh, uh, how do you say that? Reviews from other people. There was even a guy who offered me to do review, but now he's making around a thousand dollars per day. At, at least he told me a few months ago, he had his first $1,000 per day month. And then I'm like, yeah, but then do you still want to do that review? Because then people see who you are, they can go to you, they can ask you questions. So, and I'm saying it over here, but I, I won't mention his name, but I'm just not good at it. So what I've done, I created a uh, introduction video, a free webinar where people, that we, people can watch. And if they watch that and they're excited, then can, they can enroll into the course. So I click over here and then I see this information. Okay. Then people get excited. They want to buy it. And if they want to buy it, then they go to the card flows page. So I need to go to the back end to card flows flows. And I go to the affiliate marketing course. I click on edit and I go to that landing page, edit, and then edit with Elementor. Okay. What I will do, I will remove a lot of stuff, uh, which I don't need. What I want is a new area. So I click on the plus plus two columns in one column. I do a video. That is from Vimeo. I paste the link. Click here to watch the training. And then over here, I copy the text. Let me see. Copy, paste. I click over here. Copy this. Let me go for a text editor. Okay. And then this area cut and I paste it here. Okay. I click over here to give it a dark background. Okay. Then I want to increase this area a bit, make it a little bit higher. Okay. Then I want to make uh, this area background white. Just playing, see if I can make it look better. Increase the margin 20 and the padding. And then at the background, I want to make it. You know, I don't, I don't want to have the background. Just make this white. Okay. Uh, be careful with a lot of text because people can, it can be, yeah, people don't like that. So what I also can do, maybe better, command Z, command Z, let me see. Can also drag this. Let me click on another area. Okay. I drag this over here. And I drag this over here, bring this to the center. And in this whole section, I want to say, let the width be 700. It can be a little bit more uh, space margin. 30, then this should be bigger. And then this definitely should be bigger. Okay. And then the line height. Okay. 
okay. And the text can be a little bit darker. Oh, I can remove this. Whoa, that's big. Increase the padding or the margin. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What is going on? Yeah. Also here I can give it a custom width. Let's say 700 again. Yeah. Then I don't need to play around with this stuff. Uh, yeah. Only at the bottom and the top. No. I want to include the background so I need to do padding. Okay. Click here to play. Let me go to the text. Okay, that's okay. So I need to go to the padding, make it zero, zero. Bring it to the center. If I cannot do that over here, I should do it at the style center. Okay, so now I have my video over here. And then this area and then all this stuff. Sorry, I want to talk with respect. Because people made this for free for us. And then there's this area. And you, if you want to, you can have this. I have uh, a thing on my back, on my computer, my desktop that says money back guarantee. Um, and then over here, you should have in the disclaimer things like, okay, but only when you have followed more than 40% of the course, but because there are people that just go and buy our course, they download everything, they sell it as themselves. And then they uh, say, I, I want to have uh, an unsubscription. I, I want to have my money back. So be careful with that. So this is what I prefer clean. And here is all the information. Here I can, in this video, I can have training that's like 40 minutes long, or I can have a two minute video that shows exactly what this course is all about. Make people excited, include some reviews, some testimonials from people. And that's how I prefer to do things. And the same thing I can do with the Photoshop course. Let me see if I can narrow this down to 700 or if it will become a mess. I don't think it becomes a mess. Always take a look on the tablet version. Oh man, it looks so beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, over here. You know what? At the layout, I can change the height to something else. To the minimum. The last course you will ever need. And then people can pay. I got a message. Hey, Ferdy, be careful. Your phone number is on the internet. And I was like, check the number. <laughs> That's not my phone number. Okay. So it looks really good. And the same thing you can do for the other courses. So what I can do, I can click over here, save it as a template. And I say landing page template. Okay. There it is. Landing page template. Command E. Home page. Click on it or maybe better the dashboard. Click on it and I go directly to the dashboard. Then I go to card flows, flows. Then I go to the ultimate Photoshop mastery. I edit the landing page, edit with Elementor. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Remove all this stuff. And then over here, click on the plus, click on the folder, my templates, landing page, template. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. Here it says the Photoshop mastery. So that's right. And this is okay. And this should all be removed. Okay. Of course, we need to change the video. So if I go to Vimeo, I think I have a Photoshop course introduction video somewhere. Let's go to my videos. Search for 
Photoshop, hit enter. Also, have, yeah, promo Photoshop course. It can be <laughs> a Dutch promo, but right now it doesn't matter. Just want to get the link. Copy. Paste it. Okay. And then the last Photoshop. Just for reference. Okay, people can buy it over here. Wow, it's getting better and better. So, open it incognito. Okay, interesting. Oh, 197. Okay, that's a lot of money. Let's see what it is. Okay. I can watch this video or I can remove this data. Okay, this is what you will learn. And again, you can decide if you want people to see this. I'd rather not uh, let people see this. Okay, interesting. Take me to the course. What's next? Then there's the landing page. And as I said before, we can combine those two. I can watch this video. I decided that people cannot skip through it. They need to watch the whole thing. And then they can scroll down if they really want to buy it. And then I want to pay. It is still my test account. So if I want to make that a real account, I go to the back end. Let me go to Stripe. Then I go to WooCommerce settings, payments, Stripe, manage, and I scroll down and I uncheck the test mode. So now I need to go to Stripe, go to the dashboard, go to developers, API keys. This time, no test data. I want to create a new secret key. Secret key. The key name is. Courses 30 WordPress hook. This is for real. This is what I really will use. I need to fill in my password. Okay. This is the key. The publishable key. So I paste it over here. Then, thank you, Stripe. Then there's the secret key. I paste it. And then there's the web hook. Add an endpoint. And as I said before, over here, you can find it, paste it, courses, 30 core per hook. I use the newer version. I select event charge. Guilty as charge. Okay, that was a bad joke. And now, let me click to review, copy it. And I paste it. Now I want to have the inline credit card form, which looks a little bit better. And here's the statement affiliate marketing no courses for the corp. Get your charge immediately. Yes, yes, yes. Save the changes. The live publish bill key should start with PK live. That's not the case. So I go to API keys again. Paste it, save. Okay. So now when I log out, I go to the website. It says it's $197, but this is created in the course. But if I go to my product affiliate marketing course, it's just $5. So I click on learn more as a brand new non-user. Okay. Interesting. I will remove this, let people go to this page and they can watch my video. If they are convinced, they can scroll down, leave the email details stuff. But this time it's 30 at affiliate marketing course.com. My username will be 30 affiliate. I'll create a password and then over here I can fill in my real credit card details. Keep in mind, I created my own account, username, and password. So when I place the order, I do not save this. I place the order. 
it says congratulations on your purchase go to your account it just cost me five dollars i go to my account i'm a brand new user over here and then if i scroll down i see i have one course if i click on affiliate marketing course there it is my receipt receipt from stripe awesome they can go to support at affiliate marketing course.com let me check my mail over here welcome to the Ferdy, welcome to Ferdy Corpse Hook Academy thanks for shopping with us thank you for your order okay you can all change all these settings I have a tutorial about that search for YouTube or go to YouTube and search for WooCommerce tutorial am I still number one yes and there I will show you how you can do that and if I would go to this video, it will probably say that it is not possible. Yes. Why? Because in the settings I said everything needs to be done in chronological order. So I need to go to the first video. I need to watch it. Hi guys, my name is Ferdy. Okay. If I'm finished, I click on mark complete. And then I can go to the second video. And now I can follow the whole course and learn how to make money through the internet. Well, since I'm a member, I can click over here, go to the course home. Then I can go to my account. And now if I want to, I can go to the home page. Buy the second course. Take this course. Again, I see a video, all this stuff. And then I can also buy this course. And then it will appear automatically over here in my account so now i can create multiple courses if i take a look at my progress i see i'm at one percent because i followed one video so one more thing i want to turn off the whole idea of that you need to follow the first video before you can go to the second video so i click on log out i log in with my administrator email how can you do that you go to the course in this case the affiliate marketing course you go and edit the course go to the settings and here it says linear requires the user progress through the course I say free form allows the user to move freely through the course without following this designated step sequence updates. So now people can go anywhere and everything will be fine. So as I promised, I wanted to talk about the dashboard. So I go to dashboard, then I go to learn dash. I go to my account Then I want to download the pro panel. I go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, drag it over here, install now, activate the plugin. Awesome. The plugin is activated so I can remove it over here. Maybe think, okay, but where is it? Well, it's on your dashboard. So what we see over here, we see you have two students, three courses in total, and here we can filter things while well, this uh, interesting if you have more people that are uh, attending to your course or your courses you can see a lot of uh, statistics and i've dived deep into it and what i found out it's there's so much to cover that i will make a different uh, separate tutorial about it and that's about a lot of subjects because there are a few things we can do better for instance if i click over here and i go to one of the courses how great would it be if they would first need to leave their email address before they see more information? Then if they decide not to buy it, I can put them on the automatic email list. I can convince them to buy it if it's really something they need. But sometimes you need to help people a little bit to buy something. So I want to make a convert kit tutorial. You can find it soon on my YouTube channel. What else? I want to combine this page with all this stuff with the Cardflows page. And I think I need Elementor Pro in order to do that. So that's what I want to do. I also want to import uh, my current 
affiliate marketing course takers that are over here at affiliate marketing course members. Right now I have this member area, but this is something I don't like. The link redirects to ClickFunnels. So I, I'm really not amused with ClickFunnels. They change links. They do a lot of shady things as far as I'm concerned. So also like I will make the course within WordPress. And what I want to do now, one important thing, I need to go to 30 corp.com. Okay. Then I go to the menus. I create a custom menu over here. Custom, no, uh, custom links. And I say HTTPS courses at 30 corpershook.com and say courses. Okay. I want it to be totally at the left next to web hosting. And over here, I make it capitals. What I can also do, go over here to affiliate marketing courses, copy this link and then say new link affiliate marketing course. And I say affiliate marketing course Add to the menu as a sub item. So now I get a lot of visitors on this website. Some people will go to my courses. So now when they are at my website, They can go to my affiliate marketing course. Oh, that's not working. And then they can buy it, but there's a small problem. If I go to the back end and I go to my product affiliate marketing course, it's just $5. That's not what I want. So I go to the, let me see products, all products. And then affiliate marketing course. And I make this. $197. It hurts a little bit because it's really cheap. But um, I need to start somewhere and build up and uh, make this better. I want to take it serious right now. Last year, I did not take it serious. I made around $18,000 with it. Still a lot of money, but there's so much more I can make with this course because the content in this course is amazing. What I also will do, I will get rid of those courses because um, those cores are actually fake. I need to uh, fix them yet. I'm not sure if I want to sell this course. So uh, maybe I should get rid of that link on my homepage, but I just want to show you uh, what you need to do. So from now on, I will create a few more tutorials. Uh, you can watch them over here, 30 corp.com. I yet have to make them at the tutorials and then learn their tutorial. And then here below, I will place those tutorials. So. I decided to create a separate video for the certificate. It's not an in-depth video that's like 15 minutes long, but I want to take time for it. Uh, and I don't want this tutorial to be too long, but Hey, I have the tutorial already on the internet so you can watch it over here or you go to the description or you go to 30 corp.com and then to learn dash and there I'll see it on the list. So I got you covered and now let's talk about where the money goes that people pay for your course when you use Stripe. And here comes the fun part. Since I bought something for $5, I got $4.09 or four euros and nine cents. And this will be paid out to me March the 22nd, which is in 10 days. So now everything is automated. People will buy my course, of course, not for $5, but more for like $179.97. And after that, $297 and $397. And the more people will buy it, the more I'll make and automatically it will be sent to my bank account and there I can pay taxes and do other and a lot of fun stuff with it. So that is how it is done. And as I said before, I will do follow up tutorials. You can find them all at 30 corp.com and then tutorials learn this tutorial. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. You're at the end of this video, but rest assured, we're not there. I think what you have right now, when you applied everything I told you, I think that's amazing. That's, that's where I am right now. And that's what I will use to sell my course. But there are more things we can do. We can integrate it with Elementor Pro, which is a premium tool. 
but for what you get, it's a quite a nice price. You have it already for $50 per year. And we're going to use Cardflows Pro. What I want to do now, I want to invest more money uh, to get a better product. Now, I'm not only going to invest money in tools. I will also make tutorials on how to create advertisements and all that stuff, uh, how to use uh, email providers. And again, as I said before, you can watch that on the list at 30corp.com and then go to tutorials in the right uh, column and then uh, down at learn dash. And uh, it means it's really simple. If I become successful with selling this course, then you can become also successful because I create tutorials on the whole process on everything I do in order to uh, make the return on investment better. And uh, I mean the, the conversion ratio. So if I can uh, have one, 100 visitors and five people buy it, if I can bring that to one people visit the website and 10 people buy it, I will teach you how I did it. At the end of the day, people need to buy this because they want to buy it and not because they're manipulated by me through a lot of tricks. That's really not who I am. What this YouTube channel uh, does not stand for. I want to be honest, transparent, and say, hey, this is a good course. If you want to buy it, feel free to do it. This is what you will get. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching it. And um, yeah, have a great day. Feel free to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. Leave your questions if you have questions. Like this video and have a great day and good luck with your course business. Bye-bye.